Hey, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Peer to Peer Podcast. My name is Agent Zero. Today, I'm here with the one only legend of winning, aka Lo. And we're back with another podcast. If you guys are new, we upload these Mondays and Thursdays. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Put on Noties. Noti. Gang, 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 gang. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, Apple Podcast listeners, thanks for showing love. Spotify guys, Google Play, Stitcher. Show, thanks for showing love on the podcast, fellas. Last podcast we have a lead on, and um, it was an interesting podcast, to say the least. True. You know did you mean? tell him about Mary Monday? Yeah. I, I told him that, man. I made okay. sure. But right. I did forget him to say one thing. Play us on the ox cord. Facts. Had to. Had to. Can't facts. forget about the ox cord. Word of mouth. Facts. See Word. What, see what that mouth do. So, like, now that the Pause. economy is collapsing, um, how do you think you're going to invest your money? <laughs> Stop. Because that shit is going to collapse. Because I was doing a little bit of speculation. I was thinking to myself, like, if, like you know how people play the system? They like to outthink. They, they like to be, like, six steps ahead. What so, is this, a financial podcast? What are you? We are, I mean. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, ICPM. It's, it's common knowledge that um, anytime you talk about, like, financial, anything, if you have a financial channel, you get the greatest CPMs. You make the most money on YouTube. So Facts. Maybe I'm just trying to make money today. Facts. You know what's wild though? On a very sad note, um, I invested an obnoxious amount of money two months ago. And you should not have done that. Yeah. I was pissed. But then I was like, I'm glad I didn't go in harder because, like, you know, when you have a financial advisor, they're just like, hey, dude, you should go in now. You know what I mean? So when the economy dipped and went down, like career numbers or whatever, when mm. it first did that, he called me. He's like, hey, this is an opportunity to buy. And I was like, I don't know. There were doctors saying that 40 to 70% of people might be infected by this. Yeah. And if that's the case, like the way the gas prices are going down, everything else is about to go down. People Facts. are going to spend less. People can go outside less. And now that they're closing events and stuff like that, I was like, thank God I didn't go on further. You know, you know what would have been really tragic if you invested into? What? GameStop. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, GameStop going out of business, bro. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's that's, bad because people, people will lose jobs and, you know, it was a staple oh, yeah, of course, of in a course. lot of people's childhood. Of course. But at the same time, of course, 50% of me is kind of like, I want them to, I want them motherfuckers to go down tomorrow. Yo, they don't scam me out of so much money, bro. Over the course of my life. And you know, what's so crazy. I know everybody has like that story. My story is just, it's the same story as everybody else came in. Do dropped you have off stories about how Ga GameStop scam me? <laughs> Yo, they just, I came in, dropped off. Well, everybody knows the whole story of like, you have a game you may have just recently bought and you're trying to return it and they give you like, like a third of what it's actually worth and you mm -hmm. just bought it like yeah. a week ago. So everybody has those stories, but like I literally came in, had a whole bunch of games that I wanted to drop off, mm. dropped them off, gave me the receipt and then they said, or gave me, um, put it on a card and they claimed that the card no more, they don't use those cards anymore. And so then she said, well, um, you had a receipt with you? Mind you, I'm like 12, 12 or 13. Of course like, you store receipts at 12. Of, of course, <laughs> ma'am. I have the receipt. Like, no, I don't have the receipt. She's like, well, since she didn't keep up with the receipt, I'm like, oh my God. You know what the God. fucked up part of that is? They actually store, when you use your card, they mm -hmm. can see what other purchases in GameStop history was used with that card. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you don't technically need a receipt. That's just one of the policies they put in place so they can scam you more. Walmart is like that too. Mm -hmm. For people, yeah, people don't know that you can just go to the... Um, Customer service, and you give them the last four. You tell them the day that you spent, and then you your last four of the card you use, especially if it's a credit card, and they can just pull it up in the system. Yeah, which is crazy. But they'll be like, "Oh, ma'am, sir, no receipt, no return." And it's like they can just go back in the system and pull it up. But yeah, yeah, GameStop. Yeah, shout out, RP to GameStop. Bro. You know what's crazy? I've never had horrible experiences there, oh, but no, I, I have had terrible. bad experiences. Most of the time, they're incredibly helpful and way too talkative. They be trying to talk to me about everything. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow, you want to play Warframe? You into Warframe? You into, like, you know what I mean? 2K? Oh, wow, you play 2K? You play Madden too? It's like, I'm not really trying to have a conversation but they, with you. But that's just because they're trying to build, they were trying to keep the customer service up. I guess. Because that's how they're going to keep people in because there's no way they were going to so, compete with digital. In my mind, I was like, I don't know why everyone hates GameStop that much. Oh, I no. dislike them, I but them. I don't hate them. You know what I mean? I hate them. I hate them. But um, I watched some videos of just GameStop employees talking about how mm -hmm. certain managers would pressure people 
to extreme extents to get them to buy like used versions of the game. And so um, for a video that I'm planning on doing in the future, I was trying to buy like 30, 40 NBA 2K18s, yeah. right? And so I was like, hey, I want to buy NBA 2K18s. Now I know they have new ones, but without asking me, she didn't ask, do you want used ones? She just gave me used ones. And I didn't book it until I left, but I wasn't gonna make a problem out of it. I was like, fuck it. But I was like, I would have preferred the new ones if it was like 30 cents more, cause that's what it was. Yeah. So it's like, it's they obviously they have a bigger margin with used games than new games, mm -hmm. but it's like, man, just have a little bit of integrity. And a lot of the time the manager gets pressure from corp. Yeah. And then, so the manager has to force the employees by their throat like that, just to sell more used stuff. Like I want to buy a new PS4. Oh, but we have this used PS4. No, no, no. I'd prefer a new one. But take a look at, we could do this for the used one and you can get like a warranty. And for most retail, warranty is where they make a ton of margin. Yeah, of course. So yeah. anytime they say warranty, I'm not, a warranty on a fucking PS4 disc, if you break a PS4 disc, it is your fault. Maybe in like the PS1, PS2 days, because if you scratch a disc a little bit, it would fuck up and you mm -hmm. had to <sighs> breathe on the shit just to get Jesus it to work. Christ. But in, no, you're not going to convince me in 2020 my disc needs a warranty. Shut but, up. But not only that, like... um. It's it's so weird, like how the perception of GameStop has just changed over the years. Yeah, because it's just gotten like inc like progressively worse to us. Though, when you see kids walk in there, it's like Toys R Us. Like, ah, but ah. but kids but kids aren't old enough to even know the lineage of GameStop. So I'm I'm referring to the people who knew it from the beginning, Word. like back when EB Games was competing with it and stuff like that. We we still have EB Games in Canada. Well, yeah, in we, fact, there's no GameStop in Canada. It's just EB Games. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. for us, no, nah, there's no more EB Games. So, yeah, like, but yeah, just, but when both of them used to exist and then only one of them exists and then how. EB Games was bought by GameStop. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying. Regardless of how you want to cut it. It's the same thing, really. They yeah. offer the same exact but, things. But back in the day, it was just both of them. Anyway, back, like, when, like, where, I, where I'm from, there was, like, it was so many GameStops. It was, like, literally two GameStops within. A three mile radius. Word. Like that's how like that's how popular they were. And for them to just go out, which is kinda like duh. Like they're like it was obvious that, that was gonna happen. But they're they're thinking of creative solutions to not. But like, it's not it's not gonna work though. It won't even when you go to GameStop, if you pull up there now on the TV, they'll have like their own programming. Mm. Um so they have like their own like twenty four seven show that shows a whole bunch of content that they record. Um, on top of that, they do partnerships with games to sell you like, we'll sell you NBA 2K VC at a discount. So they're thinking of decent solutions to what I feel like is a permanent death for them. They're just yeah. trying to figure out a way to not go through that. You know what I mean? But the same thing with black, um, I'll say black blockbusters, blockbuster. They used to, they, their pivot was, we're going to have red box machines out there almost. Cause yeah. I don't know if you remember, but like for, a quick Oh, is red box owned by blockbuster or no, no 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 but like they used to like you oh, they know, had their own version of that own ver okay own version of that and it still didn't work mm -hmm. because it was just getting progressively worse as time went on Word. and so like the same thing is going to happen with with GameStop. i mean there's just no way around it because the way that people just consume though. games i've seen companies come out of fucking nowhere when they had no business surviving but it, they, nah, it's, it's challenging game gamestop they 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 rely too much on selling physical copies of things and even even if i mean surviving for gamestop is just being able to just break even or, or maybe have a small margin on a on a year to year basis it's nowhere near as successful as it once was before yeah and it won't ever be because yeah, it will never be that way. we just moved away from that so unless they can find a way to make money online and their website is pretty but decent, no way but they're not going to beat Amazon and Walmart exactly. shipping. Exactly. So it's like, how do you beat Amazon and Walmart shipping? You don't. You just sell games so you could go on Amazon or eBay and sell your games through there. But, but then Amazon gets a cut from that. So they're still winning. And even trying to compete with Amazon or eBay or even Walmart to an extent, even trying to compete with them would, would put you out of business. Don't want the type of money you wouldn't have to throw at that type of project to try to compete. There's just no way. They're, yeah. they're, they're going to fail. There's no way around it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, I'm excited for the fire sale that's going to happen. I'm about, that's what I'm about to say. Hey, around. <laughs> so apparently the, the um, list is going to come out later on this month. And then um, stores are supposed to be starting to close around April. Like that's how soon this is going to happen. April and May. That's, that's how much is closing down? Do you know? Oh, they said hundreds, hundreds of stores. So I'm assuming any any anywhere where there's a store close to another store, that's where one of those stores are going to close. And they just had, they had 200 stores closed in September, this article says. Oh, yeah. This is, no, all this stuff is recent. That's what I said. So, that. so I'm saying they already had a recent closure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And now they're having more? Yeah. 
That's wild. They they had they, they they've been coming off of like five straight years of like loss. And in January they closed fifty five. Oh nah, that's what I'm Every saying. Every few months they're closing down like a hundred stores. That's why, but that's why that's why I meant <laughs> when I said when I were the place where I grew up there was one right now. Like yeah, literally just closed. Yeah, like, like recently. So no no no, that's, that's very tough. This is not going to survive. And so GameStop is more and I, dare I say progressive when it comes to um, just making money. Relative to other people in the physical gaming industry. I don't know if you've been to these retro gaming places, but not only do their websites all suck, but they have horrible customer service. Sometimes they just close early for fun. And so oh, no, I, no, I remember that I, I've been to plenty of them in Atlanta so far, just buying old games oh, that no, I grew no, up I playing. I was with you. Oh, yeah. We drove two hours, yeah, two hours north. I can even I can, I can upload that now. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, we drove two hours north just to get NBA 2K10 because mm-hmm. of all the 2Ks, I lost 2K10, which is my favorite one. Oh, it's right here. No, it's not because they didn't return it. Oh, this is, I hate letting people use my rooms and shit. Um, but um, Yo, call them out. Call them out right now. Everybody. Call no, Call who, who, who took the 2K10. I don't I actually don't know. That's the thing. Oh, man, that's tough. Um, Name the culprits right now. <laughs> Name the culprits right now. You want to do look an at, investigation? Look front, yeah, look in front of your camera right now and say, yo, <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, so I was disappointed that I would talk to these guys and I'd be like, you don't want to sell games online? And they would say things like, actually, like, you know, selling online would make it difficult because, like, they have, they generally, um, retro gaming stores buy the game from, like, California on dirt cheap, mm-hmm. right? And then they'll put their margin on it and sell it in their store. But that's like a month long process from when they buy it to get in the store, mm-hmm. to put it in inventory, to stock it, to eventually someone buys it. It could take months depending on how popular the game yeah, is. Yeah. So it's like, and some of those games might never be sold because you're taking risks. You don't know if some old Nintendo 64 game is going to be like, you don't know when a guy's going to come around and be like, oh, I played that with my little brother. Yeah. Like I went in there and I bought like f- dead ass hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of games and they were OD cheap. But I was asking him like, why don't you guys sell them online? They just don't care. So for them, I guess they don't care. They just want to break even. But for GameStop, they can't afford to just break even. They have to be profitable. And so that's way tougher, especially when you're franchised all around the world and everybody's moving away from physical. So um, they need to put like some head honcho CEO, some like Jeff Bezos type to save. Well, the, well, I guess the only thing I would say is that if GameStop had the appeal of retro games, then possibly they could stay a little longer because the appeal of retro game stores is that you're going to walk in and potentially find something that you can't just yeah. casually come across. Right. And even though, like you said, with the whole, they can search it up and find it for you on eBay, that would be, I guess, something also GameStop should be, could be able to provide is that we're experts. If you're looking for something very, very particular, we can find it for you probably quicker than you can and give you a fairly good word. But it's it. tougher to move retro stuff. Way tougher. And th- that doesn't create the lineups that like Call of Duty release will. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm not saying release. it will. You know I, what I mean? That those days are done. Yeah, but they those days are no, done. they still have lineups. Um, no, especially because GameStop to- releases the game at 9 p.m. So unless you have fast internet, like if you have like 100 megabytes down or faster, but you know what I'm talking about. Do it at about. home. You know what I'm talking about. The the days where you would come up to GameStop and the lines would be out the butt. I've never and- had that where we grew up. So maybe oh that's no, right. just generally just on a regular day the lines are out the door. No, I'm talking on a, on a launch date. Oh, the launch day is, is all the way out the door. That's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. No, not they're nowhere near as, as much as they they're are. They're still now. massive right now, man. No, but nowhere near as much as they I mean, I don't know how they were before here, so I guess I you remember could tell it me. was 2K. Not the, what was the first one on, on it on this gen? 2K14. 2K15. I remember when it was 2K15 and I went there. And when I say it was a lot of people, to the point where I was I went to the store. And was like seeing people that I went to school with, and they were just like, <laughs> "Yo!" Like it was just like it was crazy. Like the whole parking lot, yeah, was just full of people, full of people. And it was a two K launch, not even a Halo launch, not a Call of Duty launch, a two K launch. And there was that many people there. Word. They they changed up now. If you go to a game store, have you been recently? No. I go there like every three or four months just because like they'll be the closest place that sells like a PS3 controller, which I need. Mm. Um, or something like that. And now they sell, they have a lot less like physical game room and more like memorabilia. So like if you're a few, like if you're a Nintendo guy, you might want to buy Amiibos. Um, you can't do that. You, you could do it virtually, but a lot of people go in stores to buy the Amiibos for like fucking 10, $20. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, that's what they should be. 
they those are, are the they're pushing they hard on that. They, 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 those are the people they should be catering to. Yeah, like to. that nerd geek memorabilia. They have it everywhere, bro. Yeah, that, that's that's how they should be catering to. But they don't need as many stores as they have right now, which is why they're closing. Yeah, they definitely don't. Which is why if you have if you're in a city where you feel like there's too many um game stops within a, a few mile radius of one another, one of them are more likely gonna shut down. And that means you can just stroll right in and get PlayStation controllers for like Probably like thirty bucks, like like if probably less than that, but like had definitely half off. Target tried that in Canada. They came to Canada out of nowhere, and they were like, "Oh, we're gonna dominate." Nobody, no, no nobody was interested in Target in Canada, but they had one right by my university. Mm. Um, so when they eventually Target closed down all their Canadian stores, it was within like two years. They had this wildfire sale to the point where it made no sense. You go in there and you could buy a sixty dollar PSN card mm. for forty dollars. Yeah, you're making money. Yeah, I know. So every I like I went in there and bought four of those because at the time that's all I could afford. Yeah. And then I just used them on shit that I wanted. <laughs> that's it. Was like you're selling sixty dollars. No, you're selling forty dollars. No, you're selling sixty dollars for forty. $40. Yeah. I mean, no the same, the same thing happened to um Toys R Us when they went out of business. So they just they just had a whole bunch of stuff, and yeah, I literally yeah. went to Toys R Us. I got a few things for like some people I know. You got some Hot Wheels and shit. Uh no. You yeah. got some Hot Wheels, four no, 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 F 150s no. But I just got a, a few. <laughs> A Ford F one fifty Hot Wheel. I just got um yeah a few things for for some people and I got an extra controller and they were selling the controller for fifty percent. It was thirty dollars off for a brand new controller. I was like, All right, tough. But. So if that same thing happens to um GameStop, I'll be I'll be willing to drive to go to that. Like I'll I know where all the ones in the area are because I've been to all them. <clears throat> but I'm really passionate about this stuff because in uni when I had zero money, that's how I made money. I would literally buy a PS2 from some guy who didn't want it anymore for like $5. Mm. And then I just make sure that the sensor, because a lot of those get fucked up. And PS2 was, was my main thing just because it was so easy to fix the sensor and nobody wanted to do it. Mm. And then I would sell it for like $50. And I'd be like, hey, I'll sell it to you for 45 if you come pick it up. Boom. It worked every time. How much does a PS2 go for right now? Uh, you could probably get one a good in shape for like $20. But in, uh, that's, that's in Atlanta. But in, in when I was I was in St. Catharines, like Niagara area, mm-hmm. it was way harder to find shit there. So see, that's why I was I was there. I'm, I'm I'm assuming at one point a lot of these consoles are just going to be hard to find. Yeah, and the prices go up. Yeah, they I go bought up. an N64 with mint condition, four controllers, mint condition, Castlevania, and Goldeneye for four hundred dollars. Here that'd be like two fifty. So it's like um, what I would usually do is I go to Toronto and then I would sneak like. A fucking good condition PS2 DualShock 2 controller Bring it back to St. Catharines And then I would put it up for We had an app called You guys have Craigslist here We had Kijiji Mm -hmm. And Kijiji was way more active You know what I mean We'd all meet at like Tim Hortons And I'd be like Yo sell this Boom And then that's genuinely How I made money And then I would actually Take that money And join some 2K competitions And at the time People didn't know who I was And then you would lose So some of them I did lose Because keep in mind We played a lot of my team uh, In Park right In Pro-Am Mm -hmm. But most of those competitions Were 5v5 play now Yeah so I did lose some to people yeah. that I knew I could mark. No, you lost. Um, but a lot of those competitions is like all-star difficulty. It's like, who the fuck is playing on all-star? You know what's so crazy? But I made a lot of money like that. No cap. No, you probably lost way more. You know what's so crazy? Somebody asked me. <laughs> so um, hated. No, because you, someone- know you know I'm working anyone on campus. But I couldn't tell them I did YouTube videos for a living on the game that they're trying to play me on. Somebody asked me um, on our Q&A, they said, yo, who's, who's better at 2K? You were, you were agent. And I was like, I, I literally ignored that because I was like, y'all know the answer to that already. So there's no need for me to even okay, go but into. They know you at this point, my guy. You got the troll face on. Everyone could spot it. You got a little smirk on your face. Um, we used to play a lot like 2K16 days. And I still, I, like, what, what, I had 30 wins to your 10 on my team. You're, you just you cap so much. I'm not capping right now though. You can't, you stay with a cap on too right mm, now. Yeah, I got yeah, the skelly on today, man. I got you the skelly cap. on. You're mm. cap. We're, it was definitely never no thirty to ten. I'm low. I would beat you consistently. Even no, the my, you not. even, stop, even stop, the my stop, league stop, online stop, stop. games we played, stop. you get murked in those too. Oh, let me go go back to the um um when I was laughing at Nick the Bull fan last episode. Yeah, I was I was I was thinking of Nick Smith. That's what I was thinking about. Oh, and the reason why I was laughing is because every single time I think of Nick Smith, I think of that time when he cheated in a my league thing we did. Oh, we never talked about <laughs> that. I don't even think he knew that we knew. No, he didn't know we knew. Okay, could you remind me? Because I forgot, but I remember when it happened. I was like, "Yo, this is." He, we were we were doing like a um. <laughs> like a like a my league like a like a my league um youtuber my league thing and it was it was you nick uh waffle man 
Uh, I want to say maybe even Prince Prodigy, Legendary EA. Jesus, how do you remember this shit? I was in it too, but I just vividly remember because we had to we had to sim we had to sim something, and then Nick went back to resim it so he could win the game. Oh, in the playoffs, right? Yeah, and then oh. and then you could and you could just and he went in his recording. You could see his record on one part, and then when you fast forward to the next thing, it was a completely different record. And it was like, oh, okay, Nick. We was, sh- was I bugging or did he not change the stats of the KD too? I remember I remember that yes, for some reason. I remember that too. So so then it was, yeah, that was crazy. So so we were trying to set up the rosters in a way to where everybody was kind of even. And I think, I don't know why, but at the time, for whatever reason, some of the attributes were just off. So we just left it up to Nick to adjust them. Mm-hmm. And he, he inflated... KD's attributes way more than we were supposed to, and we were like just relying on him to like bring it down. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Nah, I ain't gonna do that." And he had he had like a, an inflated Kevin Durant. Everybody else is just wondering. Around. I can't remember. Did why he we win? Did, that. did he win that season? No, no. Who won? Do you remember? I don't even think we finished it because everybody, you know, you know my leagues. Everybody <laughs> just drops out by the end of the my league. Dude, I fucking remember that. I just That's crazy. vividly remember. The, the record And then you pointed it out And I was like What is this guy doing? <laughs> like why would you do that? And then I think Wolfman Is the one who brought up like Yo why is his KD Still maxed out like this Or whatever I was like Yo <laughs> Nick is wilding right now I remember that I remember like I think it was when 2K15 launched I can't remember um, why We needed to change The, the attributes though we, we probably just got A bad draft class Or it was probably Nick's draft class Right, because why? But why we? Because because he could only change the attributes if it was his draft class, or could you take an existing draft class? You take an existing. Oh, okay, yeah. It's been a while since I played my. Life. I forgot all of that shit. Yeah. No lie, I've been watching a couple. Um, just because King of the Fourth Quarters video has been popping all over my homepage. Yeah. Um, so I've been watching a little bit of rebuilds, but that's like the first rebuilds I've been watching since like fucking sixteen or seventeen. I don't understand why to this day, um, two K doesn't allow you to adjust the num- the number of teams in the league. It does, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. They That's used tragic. to, but they took it out. So the only way that you can play like a my league, well, you can play a my league with eight people, but the rest of the teams are going to be filled with CPUs. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, exactly. So that's just stupid. Wow. Yeah. I remember <clears throat> it's been a minute since I talked to Nick Smith, but I remember like, uh, I think when 2K15 launched, for some reason he was in like the Philippines or something. Um, and I was like, bro, this is a bad time for you to be traveling. But he was out with his family or whatever. And I remember during the grind, because you know when the 2K launches, we don't leave the house um, yeah. for for a month, two months, like never. But I, I took time out of my day to literally record two episodes of a My GM series. I uploaded it onto his channel. It was me. Mm. I don't, it just made no sense. Now looking back at it, I was like, "Yo, what were we thinking?" But the There's two a videos lot of did really well. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of things. That I, I sit back and I'm like, "What were we doing back then?" I just yeah. don't make no sense. Yeah, so I'm, I always even that mildly. It was just it was in the summer. I remember it was in the summer, and we were just trying to figure out content to just upload. Yeah, you know, yeah. A, a, a downtime. We thought of some creative shit though. Like my the first video on my channel that ever blew up um, was the creating 2K YouTubers in the game. And do you remember? That wasn't I was your idea. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. It was my idea. That's cat, bro. No, it wasn't. I was, it was with you in the Stop. Skype calls while I created their faces and shit. Yeah, because actually, oh, I remember. I reached out to. I think his name was Zooted. He was goaded at making yes. recreating people's faces, and so he would create someone's face for me that I was struggling with, and I would just watch it back and copy his. He made. He literally would create like LSK's yeah, face. I, I know. And upload it unlisted. I know. And I would copy that video so it would be there for my video. I mean, that's a lot of work he fucking put in. I forgot about that. And you didn't pay him a dime. Yeah, I showed him love in the video when it dropped and ended up blowing up. But T-Jack. um, that was wild. I remember that. And I was there for like days on end. All the free time I had, I was just creating to the point where I just got so exhausted. I just get started to get lazy because it's like two teams, 15 each. So that's 30 fucking people that you have to yeah. create and give attributes to and then put that them on a roster. It was my idea. It was not. I don't yes, remember it being was. your idea, It was bro. my idea. Okay, buddy. I'm being dead serious right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't stand you. <laughs> All right. And then who'd you do the challenge with? Um, oh, you bitch. You gave me a memory. Yes. You, no, no, no. Pause. Don't say shit because I'm about to expose your ass. Cause so, but no, no, no. Don't say shit. About to say. Oh, please stop saying shit. Stay very <laughs> quiet for the next three minutes. Yo, so... I played against Lowe and I told him we were going to have a forfeit. Whoever loses 
in this forfeit has to do uh, like you have to pour water on your head in public a and smoothie then a smoothie on your head in public right and so i played against you and then i was winning and you claimed it was lag and you lagged out the first game so i was like fuck it we'll play a second game in the second game you did the same thing eventually i'm winning these games by 10 15 and you keep complaining about lag i was like man fuck you i didn't know you the way i thought i knew you and i got fucking pissed and so i literally got up the next morning and walked outside. I remember reaching out to a couple of friends because it was summer, so there's not a lot of people on campus. Mm. And I was like, yo, I need help recording this. And I did the forfeit, even though I sat there and beat you. And if the video was still up, I remember saying some like sm- snarky shit, like you loaded and went to the forfeit. So I guess I'm gonna have to do that. And <laughs> I'm so I'm like, yeah, you ain't shit. I got this shit. And I posted it and the video did well. And I was like, yeah, fuck you, low. Cause you definitely should have done that forfeit. So and that was a bitch move for you not to do it, bro. Hey, no cap. Hey, hey. We couldn't finish a game because it kept lagging to begin that's with. Cap, that's, that's cap! That's not cap! That's cap! Literally, the first game we played, it literally lagged out. Dude, such yo, bro. It literally we lagged played, out. I think we played a total of three games, and in each of them, you had an excuse for why you were losing. No, literally, literally the first game, we lagged out. There was no way around it. We just lagged Ain't out. no we, okay? I had no problems on my end. Oh my God! So, so this, I remember that. Second I remember one, that. And keep in mind, this is a video that took dozens and dozens, at least sixty hours of preparing. So when I'm playing you, I'm like, "Yo, this is a lot on the line right here." And there's a forfeit. I wish I could pull. We need to set up this podcast so I could pull videos up. I'll pull the video out right now. How could we do that? I'll just I'll just edit it in the end. No, that's not gonna make no sense though. How was it not? Because I want to react to this the shit audio? right now. Are you talking about in the, pull it up to the audio? The thing is, is, the audio will play there, but I'm not recording my screen. We're going to set this up with OBS, bro, from now on. And we're going to try and connect that camera to this, and so I can switch to a different scene if we want to react to something. But we're going to need headphones for that. But you can but you can still play it right now. You can just play it right now, and I'll literally just put it, okay, on, the, right. um, put it on the screen. Let me grab this shit. Man. But I don't think you can find I don't know. It's going to take a while for you to find it. Yeah, I know. Let's see 40. That. Is it going to go 40? So I'm just refreshing my AMP YouTube channel. 40,000, baby! <laughs> how long, how many, it's been, what, a day and a half? It's been like, yeah, it's been like a day and six hours. Yeah, okay. Sheesh! Anyway, look, the idea was my idea. Because, and I think, the idea was my idea, because I remember um, Brutal Sims was in it. Um, I think you put it on private, so you can't, I don't think you can just regularly search it. Let I don't it think I did put it on private. 2K YouTubers and 2K16 agent. Man, what the fuck did I title it? You I playing you, with 2K you private it. I might have. Oh, I did private it because there was a fucking scene, and this was when I was getting closer to my hat reveal, where um my mattress was on the floor and I didn't have a hat on and I was doing like some B-roll shit, like uh, you know, just some yeah. funny shit. So I think I did private it. So let me pull this up. Just talk your shit, bro, while I pull this up. It was a. It was my idea. I vividly remember coming Man, up with it. Stop! 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 Because stop. you do this a lot. Where you, where you just be in the Skype call and we're just talking, and you're like, "Oh, I just had a brain blast," and you just sit there and just regurgitate the same idea that somebody else said. You're capping real hard, but I'm going. not capping. That's exactly right. what happened. It was my idea, and you prepped it. And the only reason why you were winning is because I was lagging. Because in the first video, I lagged out. Okay, you can make excuses. I was the bigger man that day, though. I found the video. Let me pull it up real quick. I, w- I won't be able to play it unless you give it to me. What do you mean? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you. Oh, this is me listening down. Yeah, I know. Oddly enough, um, there was lotion here, and people blasted me for that. Um, in the first scene, there was lotion right beside the bed, and they're like, Agent, what were you up to? I don't know, man. Staying moisturized? You had to, no, I'm saying you had to give me that link. Oh, yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah. I think it, oh, it's private. I'll make it unlisted. Um, and so, okay, so this is the very end. Um... Oh my god, look how fucking not overweight I was in this video. You see that shit? I see that and I love the fucking 2K16 background. Yeah. That, that <laughs> fucking game, that, that's literally. 2K16 okay, might be. I'm going to play it on mute. Play Playing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I look so ugly, bro. <laughs> I think you look ugly. Oh. Ugly as shit. I think I look weird skinny. Like, when I lose weight, I'm going to definitely have to put on muscle. I've been going to the gym OD, just lifting the last month. Because I would rather be fat than skinny, no cap. So I don't want to look like that. I'm going to be honest. Who's okay, here we go. Here's the forfeit because Low refused to do this shit. Um, I, I'm going to make this public again because this was an iconic video. So this is the Tim Hortons on campus. Um, and I bought, like, a fucking water or something. And I just walked in and poured it on. Look at these old guys. <laughs> He's, like, <laughs> He's like, yo, what are you doing? 
Oh shit! This was back before I was. Oh my god! Who recorded this? I uh, a couple of my friends. I just told them to get two camera angles, and I just walked off. The old dude was like, "Come on, man!" Oh, see, this is the other camera angle right here. And thanks for watching. And look at my fucking higher third just cut off the things for watching. <laughs> Bad editing right there. You know what I mean? Shout out to you. This is how much I love Kobe, man. Yeah, I know. I see that. Uh, anyway, um, Jesus, was it hard to make this video happen? This was my setup, Lo. And that's a trash setup. It was, but I had like a cube of space. It wasn't, I had a, oh my God. Eighth overall pick, Stax Monte. We had a whole draft. Yes. How many, views, how many views is this? Uh, 250K. Oh, that's a lot of yeah. views. <laughs> that's a lot of views back then. Yeah, so, um, man. Holy hell. When that video blew up, a lot of people reached out to me and they were like, bro, what the fuck? Like, you put in a, like, they were like, yo, this shit, I rate this, I rate this. And I was like, thank you, thank you. It was the first time I started to get attention from, like, people outside of, like, the MyGM community because I barely ever did things that um, weren't it again. <laughs> you got me fucked up. I'd rather pay a guy a thousand to do all that. Oh, no, then. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you just pay somebody. Just oh, absolutely. And then, um, and then you, this time you for sure lose. Ah, yeah. No shut the about. fuck up. Because you can help me do the forfeit again. No, I, I mean, at this point, I'm definitely more camera, so there's no need. Is that why you didn't want to do it? No, well, it was part because I had to go get a camera. Oh my. I didn't want to do I would have done it, but it's just that you were like, yo, I need the footage. Right now, and I'm like, no, you can't. Yes, sir. yes sir. yo, yes, we sat there and argued for like two hours. No, about I'm talking it. about the next day. You were like, I need the footage, low. I need it right now, and I'm like, yeah, because yeah, you weren't gonna get a camera. I, I know you, low. Like, if when I called you to start the pod, I was like, yo, let's do the pod right now. You're like, okay. I'm coming. When you say I'm coming, I just put like 20 minutes on it because I know you're not actually gonna show up. But so just I was now. Just, I was just, back then. You were like, no. The next day, you were like, yo, I need that footage. Nah, I, I need just, it. But I'm just trying to give you like a sense of urgency. So no, you because you need to upload the video. I get that point. But at, at the time, I didn't have a camera to even do it. Nah, that's cap. Because you got your fucking phone, man. Your phone doesn't have a camera. I, that, it was a shit camera. Man, you capping real hard it in this was. podcast, my guy. It's not. so hard right now. That's my video. 200K is mine. It's not, though. That's my who, idea. Who put in the work, though? You did. I dare you to say you. Not only did I put together the draft classes and everything, but I did the forfeit. I edited the thing. It was my video. It was my idea. But you can try idea. and take credit for it, It was though. my you idea. You can try, though. It was my idea. It's my idea. And so that kind of took off. Um, later that summer, what, I had. What was that? What, what, what day? That was that? summer. I think I closed it. Summer 2016? Fuck. Um, let me click on it one more time. This summer. Okay, so wow, this is so interesting. I, man, I really wish there was a screen share thing. So I. Because I'm trying not to like show too many things because it's going to be tough for you to edit it. But um, this summer was when everything came together. I was really close to quitting this summer. Uh, this was June 21st, 2016. And so like a week after this, I did a video waiting for NBA 2K17 be like, and I just started to do like weird in real life shit on campus because I was bored. Mm. And um, I was the only person on campus. So I just needed things to do. And it, that did well. And then I did a video talking about like NBA Live's comeback and that did well. And I was like, oh my God, this thing is working out. And keep in mind, this was a month after I dropped out. Um, no, I not dropped out, but I quit my job. Uh, so it was like, I had very little time to make this shit work. And that's <clears> also crazy. Summer, that's summer 2016. Mm -hmm. That's the same summer I started as well. Yeah, that's I remember. Crazy. I remember. We used to be in Skype like all the time. Like, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? And it's so crazy. That I don't think the viewers are never going to see or hear like the conversations people have about like just how, how much you have to strategize on like yeah. getting there. I mean, like some people will get lucky and blow up, but then they're going to fall off real quick. Yeah, yeah. But then to like the slow grind to get up and then the grind to just stay there. Um, yeah, there was a, we had like daily conversations on And honestly, I probably would have lost my sanity if I didn't have no one to talk. Like, remember our Skype chat with like Waffle Man, mm. um, Too Cool, mm. all of them. Yeah, if we didn't have that, bro, I, I probably would have quit a while ago because at that point, everyone I knew in my real life quit already. Mm. And so the only people I had to talk to YouTube about was like the three or four people that was in our group chat. And so it's like, without you guys, like I'd just be doing this shit by myself on campus while everyone else is doing drugs and having fun. But then 2K17 popped too and you blew up on that, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, honestly- two, Is 2K17 the one where we, we was like trying to go for 100 points? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was it. Yeah. So, so that all happened in like a- um, Man, that's crazy. It's crazy how it came together. It in like a few months time. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, this was like the NBA 2K YouTubers are inside NBA 2K16. And I spammed popular YouTubers, Cash, Los, Jester, LNU. 
Why'd you stop on L and U like that? Because we haven't heard from him in a minute. No, um, no, no. He's, Shake, he's, LSK, QJB. He's making um NBA content now. Word. Go look, type in L and U. No, he's not. What the yes, fuck? He is. I haven't heard and from him since. it's literally the worst content out there. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, but this is the content he's been making, though. Oh, I th- okay. I didn't know if you knew that. Yeah, he's been making this kind of content. Okay. And honestly, um, on a more like, I, I kind of feel like the podcast isn't even going on anymore. But <laughs> I mean, that's the whole, it's, yeah. um, when he when he originally switched, and you know when he was getting big off like the music videos and KD diss track and shit mm-hmm. like that? I was so curious how he was going to pivot because his uploads slowed down dramatically. And I was like, there's no way he can make consistent content. A lot of people want to stray away from 2K. But the second you do that, you're kind of in no man's land. Mm-hmm. And so I would tell people that it's like everyone wants to upload real life shit. But the second you start uploading real life shit, good luck, my guy. Because unless your life is fucking very interesting, you're going to run out of content real quick. And so the only people I've seen that could pull it off successfully is like Logan Paul. And even he eventually got caught in a trap because he lost his fucking sanity. He didn't know what was right and wrong no more. So, yeah, I was always curious how he was going to pivot from that type of content to where he's at now. But he's he's averaging a decent number of views, though, like maybe 400,000 per video. But he uh, barely uploads. He so. barely uploads. That's, that's the problem. So I like to look at um, like the phase rugs of the world who can switch to in real life content or destroying. He's really good at it, too. Yeah. And it seems like every few months they catch on to or start. It's, it's way more impressive when they start it. A new trend and they just ride that way for three, four months. And then eventually it dies down mm. and they're in no man's land again where they have to wait till some other shit pops and then boom. Um, and I think for LNU, it's just been a while since he's caught like that new thing. But there was a time where he was getting like 800,000 per. Like, look at this. I'm going to say, it's not too far. You go you go back a little bit further. Yeah, he's getting about 800,000. And like this similar thumbnail style of shit that worked. Huh. But the thing, the thing about those type of, um, at least from the NBA YouTuber perspective, I've always been like kind of afraid of like what happens when the like when you run out of ideas because all he's doing is like um, seven best players, seven um, seven best NBA teams if every player was in their prime, best NBA player from each team all time, nine greatest um, NBA trade trades that's almost happening, like those type of list videos, like when, when you run out of ideas, what's going to happen? And on top of that, it's really hard to, like you said, pivot and try to stay relevant mm-hmm. because no one's not really clicking on your content and gravitating to who you are. They just gravitate more so to the <clears> list. I, and so they're just trying to figure out what happens next. I genuinely believe this. And I tell people this just to kind of like ground them because a lot of people get like caught in the hysteria of like, oh, I have a lot of followers. So that means I must be important. I genuinely feel like nobody really cares about you. People just care about like what you can do for them. Yeah. Generally speaking. So. Are you information? There's people I watch that like they like scientists or health this and like, mm. oh, you provide me some information. I fuck with your content. But like, do I care about them? Like if they started to make 2K content, would I watch it? Probably not. Probably not. And it's like there are people that I genuinely like Dash. Do you remember Dashy? I used to watch his videos like OD back in the day and I got all my friends on his videos. I remember him, but I didn't, I didn't watch him like that. Yeah. I'm, he, I'm black, so no, I didn't, I didn't watch him like that. Very black people watch Dashy. No. Anyway, well, maybe, like he had, I, a, he had a skit channel that was popping and he took that skit channel and he made a gaming channel out of it. And unlike um, a bunch of YouTubers that we know that just went on the gaming shit to make money, Dashy genuine, genuinely loved games. And so he uploaded daily and then he kind of found that like the Nintendo type content was his lane. Blew the fuck up. And he's still incredibly relevant now, which is wild since he's yeah. been doing it for like seven, eight years now. I'm looking at it. It's two weeks ago, 600,000. A week ago, 440,000. Like if there was a Hall of Fame, he would be first ballot f- just in general, but especially for gaming. Um, and so I love Dashy, but I just like as much as I love him, I don't watch his content the way I used to. I used to do every fucking video. I'd be watching that shit. You know what I mean? But that's kind of just what happens. So I always tell people like, yeah, relax. Don't get like, don't get too caught up, my guy. The second you start, you stop creating bad content. The reality is, is people aren't. The second you stop creating good content, people are gonna forget. He his first upload, at least that's still on um, his channel, was eight years ago. Yeah, and that keep in mind that's his gaming channel. He's been making skits on YouTube for years before that. But yeah, just so he's a real OG. But no, just for the fact that eight years ago he uploaded something yesterday. Two hundred and seventy-eight thousand, 
two days ago, 313, Wild. 460. That's ridiculous. And, and think about this. when um, So he used to swear a ton. Like every other word was a swear word, right? Yeah. And so when YouTube was cracking down on that and demonetization happened and lower CPMs happened, how was a guy who's branding himself on being like the guy who swears, how is he going to survive? And he not only did it, but thrived. It was wildly impressive. To me, I felt like, what part of what I loved about him was kind of missing because like he would always used to swear. And that's one of the things I loved about him, but just in like a business sense to watch him be able to do that was fucking crazy to me. Um, and he, there's not a lot of people in the Nintendo sphere that are really big. He's, he has to be the biggest, if not one of them, but I'm not really from that community. So maybe there's some shit that I don't know of. He dropped on his, um, on his skit channel nine years ago, probably going on 10 at this point. He definitely deleted some. Because okay. I know he's been he's been around for a than that. Um, the last one he uploaded was only five months ago, so he hasn't uploaded that frequently. Yeah, he but, doesn't use that channel no more. Um, a million views on that one. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Yeah, <clears throat> they yeah. even stay relevant that long is just outrageous. But you know that that kind of brings me to that to um a conversation we used to have back in the day about how could could older content creators if they if if some of the OGs started right now, would they be able to pop like they did back then? Most of them, no. Some of them, yeah. Because we we got into a debate about, I think this is like me, you, Wolf, and Too Cool about um, could, I think we said Chris Smooth. And this was around the time when he first started like just uploading um, NBA stuff. So it was kind of hard to gauge <laughs> how he would kind of pivot. Yeah. But I don't. I, I think. I think we all kind of just gave him the benefit of doubt. But then we kind of moved on to everybody else, like the iPods and the um, QB Q, QJBs and stuff like that. And I agree. I don't, I don't think. I don't think a lot of them could. And it's not really just like not them. It's just that this is just a, a completely the different. Continent, yeah, yeah, it's just it completely changes. different now. <clears throat> so to go back to how we start off with the um, with the what's his name um, content for somebody to be like not only. Uploading that long and that consistent, but for them to stay relevant that long, it's just it's you have no idea how hard that is. That's ridiculously so like, hard. When the Philip DeFranco's or the Matt Pats do it for like a decade, it's like, man, when I tell you like zero point zero 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 one percent of people could pull that shit off and they did it. Like that is it's so hard. It's so hard because things change. So you have to change with it. Sometimes you're gonna be wrong and there's gonna be catastrophic mis like the pr you did. You get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, no, right? I, I see you saying the performance that. is going to react to your yeah, fuck yeah. up. And what's and what's crazy is that like again, it's 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 something that's just to me about like content creating on YouTube. That's just way harder because in and honest and in, in all honesty, like it's hard to stay relevant in any field for a decade plus, especially when it comes to entertainment. Very hard. I mean, so I mean, when it comes to just any type of sports or athlete. Your body can break down Or even when it comes To just trying to be a comedian People may not just find you As funny as you once were before mm -hmm. Or you know The way that people um, How sensitive people become Within a 10 year span Can definitely change Your your, your perspective Of um, how people view you And stuff like that But when it comes to just Content creation On YouTube There really isn't Again there isn't no blueprint There isn't So <laughs> like every single time Another year comes Or another You know wave or trend comes you have to navigate through that properly to understand like is this how is this going to work out for me how long can i ride the wave like you said with d storm and then just hope that it can last long enough that by the time it's over with you come up with another idea to kind of pivot to something else and you just it's almost like you just having to keep pivot back and forth it's, back and, and it's forth waves and, though it's waves and it's, it's like waves, some yeah. waves are going to take you real high mm. and then like i'm telling you right now it is crushing to get those 10 out of 10 videos that just fucking bomb and do horrible so when you're on the downward slope of that wave and you need to catch on to something else it can feel almost like your life because it's your career is on the line and you have to figure out a way to hold on to something and that something could be the next type of video so i saw destroying do that so many times where um like for example like he has a bunch of videos he does now where he goes to like a high school like number three rated high school player challenges me to this and he just goes to the game and watches them play and that shit is doing incredible mm. and then at a certain point it's not and then he's gonna have to find out what works next yeah. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and you no one really knows what it is and there's no one that did it before him so he can't look at anybody to exactly. see so yeah it is it is incredibly fucking stressful but it's such a fun game because as a person who loves to solve problems 
um, what bigger problem is there than trying to stay relevant? Because in the grander in the grander scheme of YouTube, I think I'm like Aaron Aflalo, right? I'm nowhere near like the LeBron James, like the PewDiePie's of the world, but I'm like a decent role player that's like a fringe all star. And the reason I'm bringing him up is because yesterday I was just listening to some old Kendrick. No, and I think you're all star. I don't think so. Not yet. I think I, I have think, a. I think you would be like the all star where people have to be like, "Why are you like? How did you make it over this?" But, person? but if but if you really watch basketball, you know why he's an all star. So, so you like Sabonis? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you like. You like? So Sabonis. I was watching. Um, I was listening to. Um, uh, black boy fly and in the song one of the verses he had three different verses and he was talking about how how did these three people that came from where i came from make it and the overarching theme of the song black boy fly was i'm afraid that aaron aflalo and the other two people that were mentioned we're gonna be the last people to make it out of compton okay and so in my mind i'm like yo i remember talking about how aaron aflalo like he should be an all-star like he was putting up good numbers in orlando mm -hmm. and then like if you talk to ask a random person who aaron aflalo is are they gonna know but he had a really good career. So it's like, I genuinely feel like only the LeBrons are remembered eternally. Like the Wilt Chamberlains. We'll yeah. talk about those guys. But as like an Aaron Aflalo of YouTube, like I could be gone tomorrow. And then there's going to be like a core group of people who fuck with me that's going to be like, oh, I remember Agent. But then I'm not going to ring no bells across the world. You know what I mean? And that's like, that's so sad. Because it's like, yeah, I like to believe that where I'm at is, um, and it is incredible. But because there's so much more to it, yeah, I feel like like I'm in the middle of it in terms well, if of- you're in the middle, you're definitely higher than Aaron Aflalo. Nah, Aaron Aflalo, like he was a what? Average 17 points, like did his thing, was a decent well, I think, scorer. I think middle is like one time all-star. I think, like, again- I that, think was, you, that was him though, almost one time. He should have been at so, least one time. So again, so- it's a bonus. That's what you are, bro. And growing up, Black Boy, it's a bonus. <laughs> growing up, Black Boy Fly was one of my favorite songs because, although I didn't grow up in Compton, I grew up in nice northern Toronto suburbia. Mm -hmm. I was genuinely curious as a person. People, just, a lot of people believed in me for no reason, and I never really saw what people saw when they said like, "Oh, you have potential." And I was like, "How the fuck am I gonna do this? I don't. I don't think I have any particular talents that's gonna like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I sit there and watch like Big Time Rush and be like, "Man, it would be nice to live that like." Hollywood famous lifestyle, but I'm never gonna know what that's like. Like big time Russian victorious. I didn't particularly give a fuck for sitcoms or TV, but I always watch those and just fantasize about like what being popular would be like. Not because it's something that I genuinely wanted, but just because I knew it was something that very few people would experience. Um, so it's so interesting. I genuinely feel like if this is the biggest that I do, and that's like a fear a lot of people have in the back of their head that they don't really want to admit, um, that is gonna be quite disappointing because. I have opportunities I could be using and hopefully this is the year where, and I feel like it's got off to a pretty good start where mm -hmm. I have to like, I have no option but to take over. Mm -hmm. And if I don't, then it's a hundred percent my fault. And I'm going to look back at 2020 and be like, yo, you know, when you was fucking around with this person or this person, you should have been doing this shit. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so, okay, hold on. Cause I'm talking a lot, but like two years ago, um, I was debating about whether or not I wanted to like dedicate my life to work. You know what I mean? But then, but on some like, do I want a social life shit? Yeah. Okay. And so I called some people that I knew that already like made it and worked with this person. And I was like, yo, what do you think, man? Like, is it worth it to just go all the fuck in and sacrifice like a relationship, sacrifice um, family time, like all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And all of them told me like, yo, like you have a brilliant opportunity to not take advantage of it 100% would be a shame. And because you're so young, you have a pr you're in a prime position to do that. And so I was like, you don't think I should like, like no, don't fuck around with no females. Don't do this, do this. Because there's time for that later. Mm. So then I was like, oh, okay. I sat on it for like a couple more months. And um, I always used to go to like the beach and just brainstorm and shit. The beach is mad empty at like 2 a.m. So I just fucking walk around, you know, listen to the waves and just think. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's do it. You know what I mean? And so I was like, okay, if I'm going to do it, it's going to be kind of lonely. So then I started to talk to people. Well, I've already been talking to you, but just on a more consistent basis, that's already doing it. Because if everyone around you is doing it, it makes it way easier for you to do it. Yeah. Um, and so I'm fully committed to it now. Like the last few months, I've been so productive. It's fucking scary. And I know there's so much more tears to it. Like what we talked about on that mm -hmm. Kobe podcast. So I'm gonna just try and get there. But I was even off the podcast. I think when we ended like two weeks ago uh, and you were talking about all the one out of tens you were getting. Yeah. And I literally, we talked for like 20 minutes and I was just trying to let you know that 
the opportunity you have is so golden. Mm -hmm. You might not see it again for another two, three years. So it's like, I mean, you don't have, like you might not get it again. Period. Yeah, yeah. So if you're getting a banger, 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 YouTube is looking at that like, hold on now, he just got four in a row. That's rare. You know what I mean? So you need to be able to take that and then this fucking take your shit on some like a million view video type shit. Mm -hmm. And I genuinely think you could do it. Um, so it's like at the end of the day, we're all gonna have like plenty of opportunities. And then the best of us are going to be able to leverage it as best we can to take our shit, boom. Um, but for me, at least, I'm the happiest when I'm productive. Like, if you fucking sent me to Cancun and told me to sit on a chair, I'd be miserable. So I didn't even think it was, like, just being normal and working normal hours, that shit's not for me. I don't think so, at least. Um, news just broke. The NBA has suspended the season. Are you fucking serious? What was just dropped there? You trolling. Give me that. It's, it's Woj. 20, nearly 27. Whoa. I rate the NBA, though. Because you know what that means? That means players caught the coronavirus. You know what's so crazy? Okay, so I was literally thinking to him, because it was like every other tweet. Not every other, but I saw a few tweets where people were like saying, this player caught food-like symptoms, or this player has like a just, like Just stomach. out for illness. Yeah, like out for illness. And I was like, that's basically code for, we think he may have the so we're going to sit him out to figure out what the hell's going on. So, but if and one player has it, most likely the team has it. Exactly. And then that means, can you play that team against another team? So no. what are you going to do with the schedule? So the chances so, that they don't catch it with all the press and everything else, impossible. Especially if they have kids. Kids go to school, come back and get like, it's like, you know. So then, so then they were sitting there saying, because, okay, so the original um, point of it was, or, or the original thought was. That's wild. Are they going to allow them to just play games without anyone in the in the stands yeah but then like you were saying earlier there's just gonna be more and more cities where they just shut down things so you might as well just get with a program and just suspend right everything you got going on but the amount of games that are, are potentially going to be just missed like there's no way that they can play they're going to catch up on the games once you once you miss the games that's it like there's nothing else to catch up on so um a lot of people are gonna be like oh this shit is fake the amount of people that are saying that as well it's not about you you selfish motherfucker <laughs> if you went through cancer most likely your immune system is shot and so it's you that means your immune system not as strong as a person who never had to go through that if you're way older 70 plus your immune system's not as good it's about those people without herd immunity those people are in fucking danger it's not about oh. you man so it's Rudy like Rudy Gobert tested positive. Yeah, I already heard about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's wild. Um, that was eight minutes ago. How did you hear that? Because um, there were rumors about it earlier today, and I oh, saw okay. some tweets about it. So I, it wasn't official, but I, we knew because they said he was out for illness. Uh, so that's code for he got the shit. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that was. I mean, I, I get it. You want to be cautious, but so technically, all these events that are shutting down. They're just trying to slow the spread of it mm -hmm. so that the government can come out with an antivirus. And then hopefully within the year, they can come out with a cure. You know what I mean? We took for granted how like incredible um, the Ebola stuff was. No cap. Yeah, no. Because that was a truly deadly disease and they contained it. Uh, luckily, this one's not as bad for most people. But um, the people pretend like it doesn't exist. I'm like, what planet are you living on? <laughs> like, like, and nothing exists like air, oxygen. That's not real. This shit makes no sense to me, but I guess there's always gonna be conspiracy Apparently theories. Apparently, somebody is literally performing. Oh, I can't. This is I can't. Watch. NBA has suspended the season. This is gonna have like a million retweets, easily. This is one of those tweets is gonna a like, million. Like I think it's gonna smash Twitter records. But I like how progressive the NBA is because every other league is like moving way too slow, and the NBA is always first. What other to, league is playing right now? Um, like M MLB hasn't started yet. NFL is done. Yeah, but I'm saying just in terms of when it comes to making announcements. Like, every day I'm hearing an update about the NBA's meeting to talk about what they're going to do about this. Well, they're in the... They're, the league is still going. The, the, the season is going. I understand that, low, but I'm saying as the most progressive league... Um, no, I, I believe the NFL would have shut it down, too. I'm, I'm truly impressed with how the NBA is handling this. Um, wow, that's wild. That is wild. So what the fuck are we going to watch? I don't know. <laughs> That's tough. That means because um, it it might just be done. Like the whole season might just be done right now. I I think they would at least do the playoffs based off. Oh well, the yeah, standings. The, the playoffs, yeah. Oh, but the season. You're no, talking about the, the regular season might just be done right now. Fuck it, Raptors have second. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's wild. I feel really bad for people that don't have great immune systems. 
right now. That's tough. Because this is it's getting. So um, we need to go and um buy food. Yeah. So check this out. First of all, we're <laughs> gonna, we're note? most yeah. likely gonna catch it, so it doesn't matter. Um, what? Once you catch it, though, the chances you catch it again is incredible. Not that incredibly low, but it's highly unlikely. Um, so I'm not catching it. You're gonna catch it. No, I'm not. Okay, so Devin Nash talked to um, expert scientists, whatever, et cetera, uh-huh. and he put it like a paste bin of the conversation they had over the few hours, mm. and it was the most concise, easy to understand details, just breaking everything down. And the, one of the things he said was, "Be prepared that the virus is going to be in any public space." So it's like any public space. I get that. You're gonna catch it, bro. You would, you would, you would have to talk to nobody. And even then, you're gonna have to come upstairs to use the washroom. And you know, Willie talks to the world. You're gonna catch yeah, it. Yeah, Willie need to stop bringing people in this house. But I'm, I'm, they project that it's gonna be like forty to seventy percent. You're hearing different numbers of people that are gonna catch okay, it. Okay, if we go now and go get this shit and come back, I'm probably will never leave the house in two weeks. But it's not that bad for you though. I don't want to catch anything point blank. Period. I me neither. I hate common cold. So I'm let not, alone anything that's I'm worse not, than that's that. That's what I'm saying. I feel you. Um, and plus, you, we're, in, we're in America, so I don't know if you have health insurance. I don't. So you can't just go to the hospital real quick and just get things work checked out for you. Word. I'd be all right though. Because getting, I think getting getting tested for the virus is like I heard that's really hard right now. Yeah. You know, um, the governor of New York came out with their own New York State um, hand sanitizer no, <laughs> to I compete mean, with yeah. Purell. Yeah. <laughs> That shit is funny, but yeah, um, we need to stop leaving the house and bringing people in the house. And that's not gonna stop it though. From from me getting like, it, like yes, yeah, it's, it's not gonna stop it from all them people. Can I pull up it? the paste bin because it was so wild how and he would say things like you wouldn't think about like when you go to the washroom or the bathroom or whatever mm. you guys call it, um, don't use the hand blowers because think about what the air from the hand blower comes from the washroom. Yeah. So it's just gonna blow that shit directly in your fucking face. Mm. So I was like, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about not using the hand blower. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, what an interesting situation. Also, don't say the virus, the full thing, name. I heard that bombs videos. So I, I know. Okay. I told you that before we even started the thing. I don't know if you said it. I haven't been paying attention. No, I just said the virus. Um, all, all I know is, look, that's, that stuff is like way too serious. It's not I that serious even. for us. It's not it's that still serious. Ser- I'm not trying to get sick though. I don't even care if it's just for a little I feel bit. I've never caught the I flu feel before. You. Me neither. I'm not trying to like nothing. I've never had anything like serious, serious. Yeah, so okay, here. Fire. Fuck. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't the thing didn't catch that. Um, but here's the pace bin. Let me just read some of this shit. Eighty percent of infections are mild. You may not know you're infected. Um it lasts 24 hours on cardboard, two to three days on plastic and stainless steel. Like, it's all just wildly in. But, like, in two minutes, you can go through all of this and learn almost anything you need to know about it. I was like, yo, why is nobody else doing that? That is incredible. You know what I mean? Vaccine might take two years. Antivirals maybe sooner. That's crazy. So, I know they were paying people, like, $3,500 just to catch it. And then, so they could try different cures on yeah. them. Um, wild. Uh, so That's ridiculous. It will be two years, but that's how long it takes for most uh, cures. But an antiviral will be a little bit faster than that. We've never seen a virus become more deadly as it passes through humans. It becomes more transmittable. Yeah, I fuck with Devin Nash. <laughs> Shout out I don't even know what it was. When you say antiviral, what do you mean? Um, it's not exactly a cure, but it might slow or mitigate the effects of a potential virus. I, two years is too long, bro. It is. It is. It is. So you run around with. That for two years. And so now when you sit back and think about like how China was just suppressing information about it when it first started. Crazy. And that's the reason why it started. Crazy. It's like you, there was a doctor letting you know it started and you could have contained it that day. And he passed away. Yeah. From the virus. Yeah, from the virus. Yeah. That's what, that's what they told us, of course. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that was, so yeah, apparently yeah, he had the virus and you're trying to let people know. And they said that he passed away from the virus. But After other they pe- silenced him. Exactly. But other people believe that they just whacked him off because he was trying to spread the information that there's a virus going on and it's spreading around like rapid fire. And they be like in the China, the, I think it's China, right? Yeah. The Chinese government was like, yeah, no, you're like giving us a bad name. So no, we're not going to allow you to do that. Yeah. Um, look, so it says, how doomed are we? Three to four percent. 
But it says Korea's had thousands of cases and the number is 0.4. Think about it. Like a lot of the people that caught it, like in Washington, there was a nursing home that caught it. It's going to be real deadly in a nursing home. So a lot of people died there, right? But it's not going to be the case if it's at a school because if you have a healthy immune system, yeah, it's going to be more like 0.4. But interestingly enough, the one takeaway I got from this before we move on was that they were saying that viral- Tom Hanks also tested positive. Jesus. Jesus. Yo. The, the main takeaway I got was that any virus that most, I think it was all viruses, come from animals, right? And this specific one came from a bat. But it's like the, any virus that infects humans at some point came from an animal. Yeah. So that's how it transmitted. So it's like, I would love to learn more about this stuff just to know. It's fascinating to me. Look at Mark Cuban. Oh, my God. <laughs> he, he found out the news. He's like, oh yo. Oh, my God. It's going to be wild, man. I just really hope. Oh, yeah. So then so then Brian Windhorst said that the NBA, during the, the month and a half stretch, not month and a half, two and a half month stretch, let me see, April, May, June. Yeah, so two and a half months. Throughout a two and a half month stretch of limited games for the playoffs, over a hundred million dollars they're projected to make just off of that. Whoa. Exactly. I'll say this the teams themselves in profitable leagues like the NBA are fine. And for the owners, they definitely aren't too worried because they make most of their money just off of the value of their team oh, that no. they own going up. But in terms of the profitability of most teams, like restaurants that are struggling. Are gonna get decimated. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? It's gonna be tough. And the when I say a hundred million, let me be clear. I'm talking about the league, not individual. Oh, okay, teams. okay, not individual teams, just the league. So I, this is gonna be so. I want like a lawyer to break down what this means for like all the TV deals because certain amount of games was promised to each team that signed yeah. exclusivity for yeah. the content. So I'm so curious I, I, to see. I wonder if there is a clause like a like an emergency clause or something like that. I, there would have to be. Yeah. The amount the lawyers probably got paid to draft that agreement. Um, yeah. There would have to be. But, you know, it's almost one of those things you don't think of because you're like, ah, what's the chances it's not going to be contained? Because we're so used to it being contained. Yo, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, um, look at this. Last thing I'm going to say. Any public area is likely to be contaminated. I'm, 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 I understand that. The thing is, I don't really go anywhere for like me to like really do that. But... Think about and I how get, and I get I get everything what you're saying. I, I see because I mean I could if I go somewhere and I'm handling money and they give me change, I could immediately. Just but it's have it. it's it's more like let's say I brought it into the house because I touched something from outside, mm -hmm. right? So when I go to wash my hands, when I turn off the water, the the handle could be contaminated. Yeah, when yeah. I go in the shower, before I go in the shower, when I turn on my bathroom speaker, that could be. So it's like I get what you're saying. It's so impossible to. You would have to go to a bunker and not talk to nobody unless you knew 100%. Like, you'd have to give them the test and, are they all right? That'd be the only way yeah. you're 100% not going. So, yeah, like, how I'm at right now. But I'm, I'm going to go get the food and the water and then get some disinfectant wipes and literally wipe down everything when we bring it in here. You don't have to wipe down it. You just have to wait a few days. Um, the virus can't survive. Oh, yeah. Um, so, you just I, wait a few I would, days. I would probably want some water, though. So <laughs> That'd be good. Um, yeah, that's so... I don't want to use the word fascinating, but incredibly interesting. But the reality is, is like there's going to be new stuff like this that pops up all the time. But not to this extent, though. Yeah, generally talking is contained. Yeah. It just so happens when the contamination process should have started, um, China was busy silencing the people. That's just, that's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, yeah, so... Sham is, Sham is like mad late. He, 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 nah, he, bugging. he came back and said, oh, yeah, the NBA... I want to see the, old, I see the you replies. You know how old Sham is? How old? Yes. 30. Younger. 25? Yes. Yo! Yes. Oh, my God. That's crazy. He has his own company, doesn't he? Isn't the athletic his? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> he definitely has equity in it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, but no, okay. I'm pretty sure it's not his. But that means it's his, For though. him to be 25. That is wild to be. <laughs> I don't even know if he's, I think he's like, I think he's turning 25. For him to be that young, I don't even know how you could be like that. And get connections to like how did you get connections like that at that age? Yeah. For him to just know how how like who's drafting who and the trades and stuff like that. How do you get to know people like that? That's crazy, bro. Technically, you just have to know. No, you're right. That isn't possible. No, I was gonna say to like know a couple a agents, because usually like uh -huh. two to three agents own like a lot. They manage a lot of the players, but you'd have to know all the teams. 
Um, I don't or, know why, just out of nowhere. I don't know why teams feed them this information. I don't see how it benefits them. Oh, sometimes it does. They kind of just get news out there and kind of breaking and stuff like that. But just in terms of like, how do they know? Five, I know how they know five minutes before someone gets drafted, why they get drafted. But what does like the Hornets gain by telling Shams or Woj that we're drafting this player? I don't understand what they gain from it because they're all going to see it on TV in five minutes anyway. It's, there's no way it's all leaks. It's people like, okay, now go ahead, tell Shams and Woj. Well, because if I mean, it's just it's just the the, the leverage that they may have in any other. Um, I mean, it's, it's just leverage. So, like, if if I'm a reporter and I'm going to put this out because Jackie, um, I think her name Jackie Mc, uh, McMullen was talking about this because she used to write for the um, Celtics, and she was just saying like, it's just you just gain leverage in any conversation. So it's just saying like, yo, I'm going to write this story about the team regardless. So like, do you they can get that much attention to the point where they can pull that? Because why wouldn't someone mm-hmm. like Stephen A. get those same things? Because I would say he, out of all the commentators or analysts or whatever you want to call them, journalists, he has the most clout. So why would he not be getting, he should have so much leverage that he could make that happen if he wanted to as well. See what I'm saying? But he did though. But he doesn't, he doesn't, well, Stephen A. doesn't put out those tweets and stuff like that. Oh, but that doesn't, I don't think that's, that's not his shtick anyway. His, his shtick is more so just. But think about how valuable that is, though, to be the guy people go. Like, the, I only have, like, three people on yeah, notice. But, but he, and one of them is Woj because I know he gets to the shit. I so get if Stephen A had that, imagine how much bigger. By the way, people keep calling me because I presume they're going to tell me the NBA is canceled. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting those as well. But, yeah, yeah. no, I, think, I know. I think I understand what you're saying. But what I'm saying is I believe that he doesn't. I don't think he really cares. Like, because I think he's already solidified enough to where he doesn't really care like that. He's just trying to. Secure the bag on, on his own in his own lane right now. Yeah, I but see he used that. to do the same thing with Iverson, where he used to be like, "Yo, some 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 stuff is being said about you." I'm writing the article regardless of what you're saying or not. But that's one person. No, he. I mean, that, that's what he's known for. He used to do that for like him and um Michael. I mean, um him and um um Skip, because Skip used to cover the um Bulls. Word. Yeah, I know that. Skip is way older than I think a lot of people know. Yeah, I could I could tell. Yeah. So yeah, like he used to, he used to, they used to just, I used to just be because Jackie McMullen. When I say Celtics, I'm talking about Larry Bird Celtics. Yeah. What the fuck? So they used to, <laughs> so it used to just be like, I'm gonna write this article with or with like without with or without you. You can tell me your your side of the story. If not, then I'm gonna do it, and people will make sure they take the time out to sit down and talk to them. Mm-hmm. So the same thing she used to like last year with Kyrie. And, like, there was, like, a lot of things she could have said in Jalen Brown and stuff like that when that whole thing was going on. And they were saying, like, yo, you know, I'm, I'm going to write this stuff. There's a lot of stuff I've been hearing about you. So they, she just, they just use it as leverage, and that's why people come to them so they can put so they can make sure their perspective is heard, even if it's not directly from them. So then when they but write that's the article. Like if, if you want a potential negative story about you to at least tell your side, then I could see that. But when it comes to simple things like this person is drafted, this person is signed, they know it so quick that the teams have to, the teams for some reason tell an external person before their own organization gets the chance to talk about it publicly. And well, most teams who they're drafting, that's the part I'm they, struggling with. But most teams that when they draft, they already know who they're drafting before anyway. That's that's true. That's true. I, I guess because because Sham because Sham talked about how um he's he's gotten it wrong before and he had to go back and re redo it and say yo some some things developed and so they changed their pick mm-hmm. so it's not like they they already know like their positioning and they understand like who's getting drafted where and, and X Y Z so it's not like it's a, a massive secret but they just like saying all right if these players are still available then this is our first choice and so you can kind of just gauge and say this is who they're gonna pick. Nah, you would never want to guess though, because when you I mean, get you're, it not, wrong, you're not, you're not, you're not guessing. But what I'm saying is, it's not like it's a, it's not like it's a massive secret of who these teams are selecting. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's like a different kind of like being plugged. You know what I mean? When I when I got into uni first year, the first thing our prof asked was like, "What do you guys want to do when you graduate?" What you just did right there, if you had this shit on your hands, you caught it. That thing you just did, because you touched your nose in your mouth. Yeah, but I don't have it. No, I'm telling you, like, but you don't know where you. I I, I understand what you're saying. I, I'm so pre- I've always been very careful with that stuff just because I lose money anytime I'm sick and I hate being sick with a burning passion. Oh, I so I just never would. I stopped doing that in like high school ever, ever, no matter what. I'll never pick my nose, clear it. I'll never touch my mouth. I'll never touch my eyes. I see what you're saying, but 
Shit's crazy. I don't leave the house. I I know, Lo, but that doesn't make you like that. You doesn't mean like you just know. The only way would happen is if one of y'all brought it in here. Yeah, and we'd be fighting. But you you wouldn't know who it is. One, of, uh, I'm assuming somebody else would get sick before I got sick because you would have but, you would have it for, before I did. I guess, but just because like let's say I bring it in, Willie well, could get sick if he touches his face. You I know get what I mean? That. So you believe was not the person who brought it in, but he got sick first. So it's one of y'all too. I know it ain't me. Okay, but then you're not gonna know which one of us. Just fighting both of y'all. Man, we gonna fight right this is <laughs> How you gonna fight if you're sick? Oh, you definitely don't want to fight me if you're sick. I'll be putting gloves on. It's not about the gloves. I'll blow in your face. No, you <laughs> really gonna be fighting at that uh, point. <laughs> yeah, what a interesting wow. Twenty twenty is off to an interesting start. A terrible start. But you know what? I feel like right now. Weird time to say this, but I feel like this is their golden years. I don't know when the next like crazy war or conflict is gonna break out or Okay, I'm sorry I had to say this. So Los okay. No, I, we're not I, doing no, that, bro. I, no. So no, 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 no. Hey, they they suspended the games, suspended the season. The thing that Los tweets out, people don't want to see LeBron win this shit. Bro, what the fuck? What's wrong with him? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, so podcast. Um, What's wrong with him? Over the last few days, Lowe has been like tweeting. Like Lowe will say something, and then Lowe will like quote tweet it, saying like, "Bro, are you stupid?" And then Lowe's replied to him a, a couple times. I don't know. I saw it one time yeah, on Twitter. Two times, yeah. Um, and then you guys have just been going at it about just basketball arguments publicly on Twitter. <laughs> that shit is so funny. When I saw it, I had to stop what I was doing. He's just. And it's, it's really not even it really wasn't even serious. I was just trolling him. Really, I was just trying to like just troll him and just get underneath the skin. But like, for like people to just sit there and believe that like I'm just hating on LeBron when the reality is y'all are just so extreme on LeBron that anybody says anything, even if it's neutral about him, it's hate. Oh, you're hating. And but so you go so extreme to say when they, they when they suspend games. Yeah, it's because of it's because they don't want to see LeBron. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Even if he is joking, that's still not something to even joke about in this in this time of um. Yeah, that's, I'm about to that's, drop a video titled like um. Suspending. Emmanuel Moody caught it too. Whoa, that means those teams are like it's done. Everybody got it there. That's tough. That's tough. I think okay. No, I'm not gonna do that. What I was gonna just guess. In my mind, I just had an idea. I was like, once the first few famous people that catch it get through it, I think the stock market is going to like fly back up. All I know is this, man. This is this is too much. So you're telling oh, if if they don't if they don't get a cure for it for another two years, that means they have to live with it for two years. No, bro. The virus passes like any other like cold or flu. It'll pass. Oh, okay, I've never had. Okay, I've never. So once once before. it passes, that means your body already knows how to fight it. So even if it re-entered. You you would be so much more likely to fight shit off. Okay. Um, so that's that's also you probably won't be sick for like a week or two. Yeah, and then you're gonna be in two weeks is like the cap before you know what I mean. So most people after two weeks they'll have had it and passed. Oh. Um. So it's it's not like a but oh, so I could have already had it and been done with it. Yes. So when the first few people go through it and they're like, oh, they're fine. I think more people are gonna start oh, to I'm calm start down. My, no. <laughs> but the reason why you shouldn't not care. Is because the government was so unprepared for this, for the, especially because Trump two years ago dissembled the team that was supposed to take care of situations like yes. this. Yes. <laughs> so we, the reason did events, you vote? Can you vote? I can't vote, but if I did, probably Bernie. Um, but you're as, rich though. The thing is, I would actually benefit the most from Trump winning. Trump is going to win again. So. If he does, then I would save the most money. But if Bernie wins, I know that's the best for everybody. All I know is, yo, wash your hands, wash your nails, wash your ass, and um, don't catch the virus. Word. The Roni. Um, <laughs> fuck with that. Don't catch the Roni. <laughs> don't catch the Roni, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, basically, everybody needs to do their best to slow this thing down so that the government can actually catch up. Because the pace is going right now. Yeah, there's no test to go around, my guy. And the, probably hospitals is like, to the roof like you're not even gonna get space so it's like i don't know stay safe out there guys there's a lot going on but it's not like the end of the world um i genuinely feel very concerned for um 
people that imagine as going you're through, saying that the sirens in the background you're talking about, it's, not, it's not the end of the world i just hear <laughs> sirens like oh my i God. feel so bad for the like the people who's like let's say you're 19 and you just went through like a serious cancer and you want it your immune system is not going to be as yeah, strong in mm-hmm. most situations because you just got done fighting off some deadly stuff so it's like now you got to worry about and i was like oh fuck i would dead if i was rich and i had kids now we going to like a remote island for a couple oh, of years. Tr- Trump he he cut off all, all the um flights from um what from here to Europe and Europe and back. Tough. <laughs> tough. Very tough. Trump was like, "Nah, y'all can't y'all can't go nowhere." I'm not going to lie. I am not even mad at that move. Cuz some people be- were taking advantage of it just cuz it was cheap um, it was prices to travel. Stupid. Fuck it. Let's go to Paris. I'm like, "Yo, stop." You're, you're the reason it's spreading Stupid. across the world. And I genuinely... You know how idiotic you have to be to like be like, oh, man, these, these ticket prices. And then go to the heart of it. And then come back and Yo. just think all that is fine. Okay, I'm not going to say who, but it's a person we know closely. Told me yesterday, he's like, yo, agent, I'm going on a cruise. Prices are real low right now. And it's a guy that has a lot of money. I'm like, bro... He's a YouTuber? Yes. And I'm like, yo... The worst thing to do right now is to be on a cruise. That's why it's very cheap. Do not go on that cruise or I'm not talking to you for two weeks. I got to wait till this passes because you're going to catch it, my guy. I'm like, yo, are you out of your mind? A cruise? Cut it out, bro. Is he from the north or south? North of us. I mean, I, I mean, everybody's the north of us. I'm talking about north or south. In terms of the country? Yeah. South. Oh, man. No. I know who it is. Nah, son, I can't do that. I have that to try one. and convince. I was you saving said the his north of us. We in Georgia, everybody north of us. No, but I mean, bro, he lives close, right? Oh no! And when he comes, whenever he comes, and I was about to say, I'm trying to save your no. life. Do not go on that. You have money. You can go on it. Call it Yo. later. So it's like I'm about to say his name because that's outrageous. <laughs> duh. Yes, duh, duh, duh. yo, I'm about to say his name. Don't say that's it. I was like, yo, what are you? He told me that last night, and I was yo, like, yo, call him right now. I'm not <laughs> call him right now because that's just ridiculous. I was like, yo, do not do that shit, bro. You have money, man. You can go like money is not the reason why you haven't went on a cruise. It's because you don't have time. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? That I had to tell you that. Yeah, why but is he not in our group chat? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Yo, come on. Come on. Because <laughs> I know it's not who I think it is, bro. Um, so I know it's not my guy. <laughs> I know it's not him. I know it's not him. I know it's oh, not him. Oh, my God. Yo, it's... Man. People lost their mind. So I'm like, a start virus start. I'm going to go on a cruise. <laughs> Yo, come on. Not even like... I dead ass told him, you're better off just flying in like Korea or China right now. Like, you're, you're actually way better off doing that than going on a cruise. Yeah, cruise of all things. No, that's that's definitely the word. Uh, stay safe out there. I already made it into a habit. Luckily, even though I know I'm gonna catch it. Hopefully, not anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't touch your don't, fucking I don't face, guys. You're gonna, um, I don't think you're gonna catch it. Low. They said f- they projected forty to seventy percent of people were. I've never caught the flu. I understand that, but that's because there's herd immunity. Most people have took flu shots, so it's way harder for that to um, transmit. I don't know when's the last time I even had a flu shot. I genuinely don't think I've ever had one. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I could have when I was a kid. I just don't. I know I know I've had because in in the states you can't even go into school if you don't take. Um, oh yeah, shirt. it's like that with yeah. us. But I don't know if flu shot is one of the ones you you need. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> someone on Twitter said though they're like, wow, the, the anti vaxxers have been mad quiet recently. <laughs> I, people like that are also just stupid. Like come uh, on, like I just don't I just don't understand. Like people are just retarded when they, when they say very stuff tough, like that. very very tough. Um, so the NBA season, that means like no, every sports league is going to be. The good thing about us I is like. Know, I wonder how long this is going to last though. Because if it, if it lasts like towards the end of the year, where like even the NFL is like, man, we st- y'all still ain't figure out like a, a, a solution to this? Or are we going to just start suspending games? I think it's going to by in a few months, I think everything's going to kind of slowly go back to normal. Is that crazy? No, that's probably not a few I, months. I, no. I don't know enough. I'm kind of just talking on my ass right now. It's if if near fifty percent of people are likely to get it, it's definitely not going to be in a few months. Yeah, it's definitely not. Word, but we also don't know like what effect it's going to have. Um, yeah, I've heard some crazy things, but I can't trust like comments and article titles. So LSK, LS, I, just, I think LSK said something crazy too. Word, 
I think plenty. Yeah. Most people have said some crazy shit. Literally, Nadex was on Twitter saying it was fake. So yeah, LSK said something along the lines of like, <laughs> "Y'all really just believe this?" I was like, "Yes, I do actually." <laughs> I, 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 hey, hey, LSK, I actually do believe this. So, yeah, I'm not going outside. I'm not trying to touch you. I have yeah, but I hate not going outside. What am I looking at? That's the person? Yeah, it is. Man, yeah. I'm about to say his don't, name. Don't say it. Don't say Yo, it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Yeah, he's bugging. But, uh, and he was going to go with the uh, other person who lives near him. You know who I'm talking about? No, I don't. He he was at the house today. Hold on, wait. They were wait. gonna go together. Hold on, wait. Hold on wait. Cause I no, that's that's you, right? Yeah, that's me. Not the person. No, there's no one else on there. It's another guy. No, 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 no. That's you. Mm-hmm. Then not him. Not him. That one. Yes. Okay, and then one I'm other. I'm saying his name. No. He's he's stupid. <laughs> I'm saying his name. Don't I don't say, care. Don't say I'm saying his name. Don't bro. say. It. I'm saying his name. Yeah, don't say it, love. I'm saying his don't name. Say it, don't say it. Don't I'm say it. I'm saying because at first I thought it was the um, I thought it was the other dude. Mm-mm. I was like, oh my god, he not that stupid. <laughs> Cause I was like, I know you're not, but the other dude, no, he is that stupid. Yeah, yeah, he is. Sometimes he could be that. And the dude who was here today, stupid too. I, the fact that I had to convince some of that, I was like, I need to watch out for y'all. <laughs> Cause y'all make us a suspect. Decisions. I'm going to. I'm saying their name. You don't have to though. Yes, I am. No, no, no. Look, don't, yo, don't, yo, what? Cause it's a private conversation, so I'm not gonna. I don't care about no. He's retarded. Okay, he is. <laughs> I'm going on a cruise. Y'all wish I would get a phone call like that. Yo, I'm about to, I'm about to call him right now, bro. Uh, don't call him, yo. Yes, don't call I'm calling him right yo, now. Yo, yo. I'm calling him right now. Yo, put the phone down, love. I'm calling yo, him right now. Put the phone down stop, right stop, now. Stop, 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 stop. Because he, need, he needs to explain himself on the podcast. <laughs> yes. Yo, he's retarded, yo. Oh, my God. I'm getting lightheaded. It's I'm, I'm about scully. to call him right now. Don't call him, bro. I'm calling him. Mm-mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, this podcast has been going on for a while, but I've I've been having too no, much fun. Like to the, end no, it. the first the first remember we were dancing and bobbing. So I don't know if this is an hour yet. I don't know. Oh, it is. That was like one minute. That was not. Yeah, it was my guy. We started real quick after that. Um, I'm about to call him. Don't call him, bro. We can be just fine. You know what I mean? Um, Let me text him first. Yeah, just text him real quick. Be like, yo, um, you are you trying to catch the be like, yo? When are we going on the cruise? Text him that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he, should, been, he should already know something is up because he he should know I'm not that retarded. No, he'll be like, oh shit, you trying to go? <laughs> Let's get the tickets tonight. If he saves some that, money, if he says I'm calling him. You know what's crazy? Okay, okay, okay wait, him. this is something else he said, but don't say names. Um, today he's like, yo, I'm thinking about going to this Hawks game. Um, it's 200 for three seats behind courtside, and I was like, did you know that it's only 250 regularly? You're about to save 50 dollars to go to a place where you know you might catch it. And then I was like, you're not about to do this over $50. And he's like, nah, nah, nah. And I was like, I didn't know what to tell him, but I was like, yeah, just, just let me know if you're going to do that. All right. So Yo, he <laughs> might, he might be going bro. I don't know. <laughs> Cause no, no, bro. Those are bro people tendencies right there. Hey, only bro people would risk like life or death situations you know, just to so save a little bit of money. Just today, um, I was talking with a guy who I met like a few months ago, and he was like, yo, and he has season seats, and he was telling me like, yo, I got tickets. If you ever want, just hit me up for free, by the way. And I told he him said like- tonight. Huh? He said tonight. What do you mean? I said, yo, when are we going on a cruise? He said tonight. Oh, so he's just playing now. Okay. I'm calling him. Don't call him. I'm about to say- I'm calling him. Can I plug this up to the thing? No, you cannot. Love. I'm serious. But don't do it. Because then I can't talk about private conversations no more because then you're just going to say names and then people aren't going to tell me things. You know what no, I mean? I'll just, I'll guess I'll be like, yeah, I guess it's you because you're retarded. But the, he's going to see the pod though, bozo. I don't care. I don't think he's exactly. Just let it go for now, bro. If, if it can go, like, this is one of those ones you can't, like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to I'm trying to take this podcast to another level and you won't even let me but do I, it. I can't just talk about private conversations publicly. That's a private conversation that does need to be t- you saw that video where um th- there was a dude said um if I catch an SCD I, I don't have to tell you. I saw I saw a, there's a people I watch called Abba and Preach who oh. reacted to it. You watch it? I rate their content and they're mad funny. Mad funny. Um so I saw it through them, but yeah. See stuff like that. It's like no, I don't care if we had a private conversation. If you're that stupid, 
where you're just catching STDs and you're not telling people it's not my First responsibility. First of all, it's illegal. Yes. And you're catching a suit. I'm taking your house. Yes. Um, and then on well, top of all that, that's a morally corrupt thing to do. So you're telling me I could have, he could have, this person could have just went on a cruise and came back and because y'all had a private conversation, I can't know about it? No, but I, I mean, I told you about the private conversation, but I'm saying don't do it publicly. What if they, what if they link up with him? They're not going to, trust me. He's trying to go to Hawks game. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he should be off. He should be, he should be nowhere near. <laughs> he should be nowhere near us. Uh, yo, anybody who's like, oh man. Oh, why do I keep getting, bro? Everybody's calling me right now in this moment. Um, who is that, Mom? It's obviously Mom. You said you said Mom or, or two others. Oh, because it's on WhatsApp. You know, what I mean, uh-huh. it's like it's not. Um, wow, interesting pod. I really enjoyed it. We went everywhere this podcast. We really spent too much time on the Roni. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Yo, man. Man, wash your hands, bro. Wash your hands. I can't even go to the strip club. I was dead and say, like, before this gets crazy, do you want to? And then I was like, ah, it's probably nah. too crazy. That's probably that the worst place the, to go. That would be the worst. <laughs> yeah. The worst. Yeah, so I don't want to do that. But that sucks. That means we're going to have to wait, like, a few months before. I mean, strippers are making no money. <laughs> I'm telling If this doesn't end in a recession, I'll be so surprised. Because everyone's going to stop spending. People are going to stop going outside. Economy's going to collapse. Um, and... How? How do you keep an economy? You're not going to lower interest rates. It's already at the fucking floor. You can't go lower than that. Very, I, bro. The next few months is going to be history, and I hope yeah, this is it a, will be actually. Yeah, I hope it's a warning call. Just because something's never happened before doesn't mean you should stop trying to prevent it. For fuck's sake, man! Holy, that's crazy. That none of this had to happen if the government just did their job properly around the world. Isn't that crazy to you? That is, that is that is this is this is actually history. Yeah, it is. This is history. Yeah. When was the last time something broke out? Some new shit broke out like this in North America, where we have the resources to fight it. Like when you talk about Africa, and they might not have the same infrastructure in some countries. Apparently, black people aren't catching it though. No, that's cap. I saw an article that was like melanin, and, but it, it doesn't transfer through skin. It transfers through bodily openings, your yeah, eyes, your mouth. Yeah. So that, that has nothing to do with whether or not you're black. Yeah, but not to me. Black people catching it. That's what I'm saying. It's tough for you because you're not black. It's because, to be honest, if I'm being real, it's, it's not a lot of, it's not as many black people fucking traveling to China. So we're, that's where the shit originated from, Korea. But they still come in here, though. Yeah, I understand that. So maybe soon. Y'all brought soon. Vortex in this house. But Vortex is valid, though. Yeah, he black. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should be I'm concerned about call- Vortex. You should be concerned about... Um, what Lee brings in, yes. right? And I'm about to call him right now. No, I don't call him right now. Yes. Why are you calling him right now? He need to stay wherever he at. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to end this pod. This shit might just keep going. Yeah, no, we don't have to. Wherever he's at, he need to stay there. Okay. Tonight. <laughs> I don't care if he had a hookah crazy. lounge. Okay, I don't okay, care okay, okay, where okay. he at. Today, he invited someone to the crib. Yes. <laughs> Today. I was, I was downstairs with, with him, with the person. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I was like, who is this? Uh, I was like, yo, you didn't even tell me about this. But he, it was people at the house the other day. Yesterday. Yes. Yeah, and I was. I told you he was gonna. Br- I, didn't I say that? You did say that. Okay. <laughs> Nobody doesn't go. We well, I woke up and well, I woke up. I'm not woke up. I was doing work, and all I hear is like furniture moving upstairs. I'm like, why is what's word, going on? Word, word. Why do you know it's furniture? I that was upstairs. the football table, right? No, it was. The, I think it was the couches and stuff like that. He was moving they were moving the couches yesterday, or maybe the, the day before. Oh yeah, that, when right? he moved the collab yeah. room. Okay. So then I was. I came upstairs. I was like, what's going on? And so then, as soon as I saw that, he was like, "Yeah, man, I just like it. You like the space, you like how it feels." But that's valid. Though. I like how it well, looks now. I'm not saying, but then I'm like, and then I was like, I, the reason why I knew people were coming over because it's like, oh, that's why he changed it. Who would, who just wakes up one day and be like, "Hey, man, let me just start moving <laughs> sofas around." Nobody doesn't do nah, that. I, I used to do that when I lived in uni because my room oh. was so small. I kind of needed it to not and lose my sanity. That what? But it's not like yeah, uni where it's like a small area. Yeah, I see what you're saying. We're in a big ass house. Mm-hmm. That's one area of the house where he has all the people come around. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're not and even even with the fool's table in the um in the ping pong table. I remember when he was like, "Hey, yo, low, we we getting the foosball. You want you want to get it with us?" Yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to be upstairs playing no foosball with y'all. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's like, "No, nah, bro, we just get the foosball table. We go half on the ping pong." I'm like, I'm not I'm not going to be up there. Yeah, so I see I peep I peep Willie. Then when he brought it in. 
He was immediately like, oh yeah, I'll move this table over here, move it. Like, I'm like, all right, so I see what you what you got going on. All right. Yo, what lead is, yo, everything what lead does, he just does it as if like I don't really peep what he's doing. Yeah. I can clearly peep what you're doing. Like, I clearly see what you're doing, bro. Um, I'll say no, I thought I had something to say, but I forgot it, so it's not that important. Oh, um, nope, forgot it again. That's tragic. Oh, so how bad do you think it's going to get in terms of like, so the power just went out today for a few hours, but it's like, I was just talking to somebody and he's like, oh yeah, the whole, anything to do with the Roni. but it's like, if people are getting off work and working from home, it's like everything, you know, is going to be affected. There were streetlights in the area that were not working today and, and there's no hurricane or nothing just out of random. I've never seen that happen in my life out of random for yeah, no reason. Was, it stops working. That was, that was, oh yeah. Apparently the private company, like we can't get another company. It's a private company. That's ass. I saw your tweet. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I, that may, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm just hoping that's just them. But like, yeah, that would just be wild if like, just randomly, just shit, just stop working yeah. because of the Roni. And when the like the hour that the power was out, I was like, bro, there's actually nothing to do in this house without power. My laptop was dead. I wanted to eat food, but I didn't have TV to watch. I can't play no PC games. Wait, so go back. Say it again. Like I couldn't watch TV because well, you said you want to eat food. Yeah, I didn't have TV to watch. So you can't eat food without watching TV? If doing what? Like, am I talking to nobody? If I'm not talking to anybody or watching YouTube or Netflix, there's no point of eating. I booked that today. Because I was like, I was so happy Waleed uh, came home. Um, and I was like, oh, something to, someone to talk to while I eat. Because otherwise, there's no point of eating. I'm just downstairs right now. So I'm, I'm a sociopath because I, I eat by myself. No, I didn't say it was sociopathic. I just... It's borderline. I eat by myself all the time. I just like to be doing something. No, no, but I wasn't. The TV wasn't on when I was. Yeah, that is kind of odd. So but a sociopath? I didn't say that. People think like sociopath, like no, but everyone to us, it's like a spectrum. So it's like you might have more oh, trust tendencies because you're. I'm, I have probably a lot of those tendencies. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'm a sociopath, but I'm nah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I'm not empathetic in the way a, a regular person's empathetic. Yeah. There's a lot of things I'll see where they'll be like, "Oh, that's so sad," and I'll be like, "I don't feel anything right now." Speaking of empathetic. Yo, these simps are outrageous. Who are we talking about specifically? The um, the OK Boomer girl. Who's that? Where have you been? Everybody's calling today. Oh, no, that was Google. I just said Boomer girl, and then Google was like, "Oh, I know what that is." <laughs> I'll help you out. You don't know what um <laughs> was it? The girl who was like, um, "You need to worship girls." Was it yes? Her? Oh, okay. So you don't you know where it started from? Nah. So on Twitter, she's like, she's she has um, she supports Bernie. And oh, that was the same girl? Yes, it's the same girl. Oh, you see, that didn't connect that. Yeah, it's the same girl. Okay. So she, so she was dancing and stuff like that, and she was dancing to a song that somebody else made that just said, okay, whatever you say, Boomer. Yeah. Okay, like, okay. Um, what's Boomer? Uh, that's a generation of uh, baby, baby boomers. boomers. Yeah. yeah. So then, like, a whole bunch of simps were like, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. Huh? And then later on in one of her streams, and the, oh, the the video on on Twitter got like millions of views. It was like it was on pace to be like the most watched. What the thing fuck on Twitter, right? Whoa! So then, but out of nowhere, she goes on Twitch and says like she just references her boyfriend, mm-hmm. and the Sims were like, "Bet." That's why they lie about that shit. Say less. Yeah. Say oh less. My God. And then they got her fucking original video knocked off. For copyright they just start spamming it and it got oh it my <laughs> the fact that the, <laughs> oh my god oh, so then she had like a hundred and fifty four thousand um twitter followers yeah she dropped down like 80 or 90 or something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i peeped that though like even when like the instagram thought he's a post a picture with their man the shit will get considerably less likes yeah and then sometimes so if, if they're getting views just because people are watching, like, simps is liking it, yes, it will drop. But if it's, like, if it's people watching you for you, like, um, Gucci and his wife or his girlfriend, I don't yeah, know yeah. what they are. Like, they posted a picture. It got a ton of likes, way more than usual, because it's like, all right, we fuck with Gucci, dope yeah, relationship. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if it's just simps that pay attention to you, they're like, what? I don't have a chance. And they're <laughs> like, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I'm taking your shit off the internet. Yo, that's wild. You're playing with my emotions now. So that's why she went on Twitch and said that it's okay to, uh, she so said then, it's okay to worship women. So then she, yeah, she goes on Twitch and it says like, I don't even know what's wrong with, with like being a simp. Like, <laughs> it's okay to, wa- it's okay to worship women. Like, it's fine. <laughs> what the fuck is she on? It's like, no, I didn't it's know it was not. the same girl. That's crazy. 
Same girl. So you had to have some kind of mental illness then, right? Because there's, there's not a rational, sane human saying those things. You think it's okay to worship women? I don't think women are that rational. I think a lot of women are very irrational people. Is that in your experience? Because I don't. No, I just, I'm just thinking. I think a lot of yeah, yeah. A lot of women are just irrational and they, and they do a in lot what of things. Way? I ain't never more. speak to if if someone says some shit that wild to me. That's like. On the spectrum of lunacy, that's to the fucking tip. And 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 think about the shit that the other woman said to you. Okay, so a lot of irrational. Oh my god, you're exactly. right. What the fuck? Exactly. So a oh lot of oh my god, what women, the hell? Women move off of very rational things because they are emotional. So that's what I. You know what I realized so, in life? You can't actually argue logic or rationality to someone who isn't basing their argument or conversation. On logic, exactly. You're gonna lose. So, 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 <laughs> of course, the simp's are irrational as well. And they emotional because they didn't, they thought they had a chance and now they don't. Yeah. But her response to getting the video down is, no, y'all should be worshiping me. But why though? That's a, because that's interesting. I'm a woman. But then she said, but the interesting thing, she was like, no, I'm not saying specifically me because maybe she realized what it would what it sounded like, and she's like, just in general. I was like, you think so? You think we like everybody should be? Is that what you think? Okay. So then, why 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 not worship men though, or just anybody in general, based off that logic? But no, no, just just women, women, but not specifically her, but just just women. Makes no fucking sense. No, makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. Makes makes absolutely no sense. What is whatsoever. wrong with you? Know what's crazy is I'm not even like like that's her hustle. Cool, she fucked it up by introducing a guy. I just felt like somebody that. else that I I follow makes like seven thousand a month off of OnlyFans. Yeah, well, I, I, I've seen so many tweets that are like, just our new OnlyFans, support if you want. Because it's like, but if that's if that works and you're not tricking anybody, like people are volunteering, you're not forcing them. They're voluntarily putting but the up. stuff that's on OnlyFans ain't really all that crazy. Especially Yo, when let you me can- let y'all know right now. The stuff on OnlyFans is basically the same stuff they upload on Instagram, but maybe a little bit more skin. Yes. That's it. Yes. For the most part, especially the... Um, IG the the women on IG who don't really show that much anyway, all they gotta do is just show a little bit more, and y'all are just sitting there fiending over it as if like they busting out porn. But even then on porn, you can just go to the sites and go get it for free. That's what I always like. You could actually just anything you want to watch is there. So why are you paying money to watch like that? That never made sense. But it's genuinely because people believe like they don't have a chance when they watch a video. It's more impersonal. But when they're watching a stream or OnlyFans, they feel like more connected to the person. But it's like, yo, that's your money. Do whatever you want with it. Um, but no, then don't, stop simping. No, 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 no. But don't get mad when you find out like, oh, she really did have a guy and she was just leading you on because that's. But every but everything about it is irrational to begin with. It is for the most part, but I'm saying that it's not for the most. Everything about it is irrational, so it makes sense that they would act that way because their whole premise of what they were doing was irrational. Somebody, she, where, let's say she in New York and you in Nevada, like it don't matter how many times you you gave her a donation. It doesn't matter how many times she's not going to connect with you. Literally, there's no way you're going to connect anyway. So the fact that you got upset because all of a sudden she has a man, and so now in your in your mind, I mean, like Simpsons are so wild to me that they can't even they can't even fascinate. They can't even like think of a, a idea where she just cheats on her man with you. Yeah, like <laughs> it's a mad, like that's how irrational they are. That you can't even like. Bring something to, like piece together something to say. Oh yeah, she's just gonna cheat on her man with me. Like, What's wrong with you? And, and you're sitting at home on, on like Twitch streams for eight hours a night. Yeah, with you, sure. Okay. And that's you know that's what I, so cringe. Yeah, that is very cringe. You know what I realized about Atlanta? I booked is just like I knew it, but it really hit me like a few days ago. Um, people here are like OD aggressive. Um, like there's times where I've been out with somebody, and then random people will just start to hit on the person that I'm with while I'm there. And because like, I've never dealt with a situation like that before. I'm like, bro, what the fuck am I supposed to do right now? I'm not going to confront the guy. Cause I'm not going to want to actually escalate a confrontation with a guy who has nothing to lose. Yeah. Cause I have something to lose. So it's like, I just kind of ignore it, but they're so aggressive. It's like, um, unless you're equally as aggressive, sometimes you kind of just have to resort to like DMing people online or, um, on, on the extreme, just simping because you're like, I'm not like, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? Mm. Interesting. It's only only in Atlanta have I felt like that, where people do not give a fuck. They'll do it in front of you. They'll just be like, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" And then I'll be like, "Bro, you see me right here. What are you doing?" Shit is crazy. So it's like if if you're on the opposite side of aggressive and you're like, what's the word? 
Um, I don't know. Passive aggressive? No, no like passive. Aggressive. passive. Like passive. if you're very passive, then especially like in Atlanta, you don't even stand a chance. You don't even stand a chance. So uh, you don't. You don't. Nah, I don't know. You don't, because then sometimes aggressive is just OD though. But it works though. Nah, I don't know. Wait, it, it, wait, is that is that your, that's what you're gonna start doing now? Dead ass. <laughs> 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 no, I don't think I can do that if I wanted to. That's what I'm saying. I think it's just. It's, I think it's just. I kind of always try it just to see. Like, I wonder what this is like. Not caring. Nah. Not, not caring about consequences. That's cringe. I it did is. that one time. You did what? I did that one time. Simping? No, 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 no. Oh, just being OD aggressive. Like being aggressive. Yeah. And, I, and to this day, I regret it. I actually want to talk to the female. I was aggressive too and apologize. Oh, I'm not talking about necessarily with her. Uh, I I'm, just talking my, I'm just talking about in general. Are you can tell the story. Being, yeah, it was, go ahead, tell the story, love. I was okay. It was like back when I was in in high school too, mm-hmm. and we were mad cool, cool friends. And um, <clears throat> this is at like a stage in your life where like if your friends kind of big up, like yo, y'all should go out. Y'all should really go uh, out. And I was like, <laughs> huh, I'm not really. And then like I went from like never really thinking about it to all of a sudden I'm like constantly like. Hey, we, we might be able to. Mm, okay, they might have might, a point. They might have a point. <laughs> so we in study hall um, one day, and I'm like, I'm going to make a move. Mm, make my move. For sure. And like when you're in high school, making a move is just doing the aggressive stuff, like touching her on her thigh, like pull, like like try to just do extra stuff. But if you, if you do that, you would know immediately if she's into you or not. Immediately. Exactly. Because if she flinches like this... Step back, but evacuate. The, but, but the crazy part about it is that's that's not me though. What does that mean? Oh, doing that? Yeah, that's not me. Okay. Because I mean, you know, like a lot of people, like when you be around me, you know, like I'm just, I just be chill, laid back. I don't really say too much of anything. Even when like women are around, I just like be chill. Like it's not like I don't try to act extra. Yeah, word. But especially not aggressive because it's like to me that just not only do you come across as like borderline simping or you just come across as just doing too much. But it's very cringeworthy when you get rejected because it's like, ugh, like yeah. you tried that and it it fell miserably to the point where nah. now wait wait but sometimes if you do it wrong though you like you look like a creep sometimes. If you oh, but when when it comes to the touch and stuff, yeah. But in terms of just like aggressively, in, in terms of being verbal, just like being very direct, it's like a lot of the people who are that aggressive they don't really care about the content. They couldn't give less of a shit if she said no. You know what I mean? Yeah, but so but because we're friends though, because we were friends before this, had like, I, I care. Okay, yeah, I feel you. So then sit down and we we talking. Same what we did. That would be out of nowhere. If you were just friends with somebody yes. and then you just put your hand on their thigh, she'd be like, Man, what the fuck did you just do? <laughs> so we were just sitting there talking and I was thinking like this is the move. I'm gonna make the move. And so I start put I put my hand on her on her on her thigh and her knee and she was like, Okay, uh stop. So then I thought oh, what? Shit. <laughs> Oh, no, no, bro. Oh, sorry. So then I thought it was like, it was like the, uh, she, she playing me. She playing me. She really want this. She really like this. You convinced yourself that? <laughs> oh, my and God. Then, I convinced myself of that in the moment just because everybody kept saying, yo, y'all should really go out. Y'all are- Word. So then I, I did it again. Yeah. And then she was still like, no, like, stop, 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 stop. And so, and then I she did. She kept her cool, though. Wow, she kept she kept her cool, but then I tried it one more time, and then I was you like, "Out of your fucking mind, man!" <laughs> so then I stopped, but then I could clearly tell like she wasn't like she wasn't even fucking with it anymore. So then the next time we had study hall the other the, the next day, she went out her way to sit on the other side of the room. Oh wow! So that ended it. So I was like, man, and so what's crazy is like the way the study hall was up, like we were just sitting by ourselves. Mm-hmm. So like when she went to go sit with somebody else. It was like very noticed. Like she just does not want to be around me no more. She just been like direct. Like, oh my bad, I shouldn't have tried that. I feel. I feel like I've like to this day. It fucking it kills me. So that happened like when I was in like tenth or eleventh grade, and like for practically my entire senior year, I didn't talk to her because of that. <sighs> Fucked up, bro. Really good friend too. That's very tough, man. So we're up tonight. I could because I went on Snapchat too. 
And every single time I'm, I'm thinking like, yo, I just, I really just want to say like, I want to apologize for that because like, that shit still haunts me to this day. Oh, it does not haunt you, bro. Cut it it does, no, it does because I feel like I lost like a really good friend because I was, oh, acting, I was acting really funny and weird and I didn't really need to be acting funny and weird like that because I just got gassed by everybody else saying, word. y'all should go out, y'all should go out, even though like we didn't go out. So here's the thing that made me crazy. But you should be able to tell just by like her reaction from when people say that. Do they say it around you? Like while no, you two are together? No, this isn't always around. Oh, okay. But if they no. did, then you could just look at her real quick. Oh, okay. So no. <laughs> no, but no. Even in the beginning when they were saying it, it was like, when it, we was yeah, in the beginning when we were saying it, we both were like, nah, 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 nah. But then when we start to do, when we start hanging out even more, people, I, I, and I don't know what they did with her, but people almost went out their way to be like, yo, 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 yo. You and you and what's her name? Y'all, y'all really should, yeah, y'all, y'all should really. To the point where even her, like her best friend, were hit me up, and we were all like cool. So it wasn't, as, it wasn't if like I never would ever talk to one of her friends, but like her friends would come to me and be like, yo, y'all should, y'all should. If only she knew, bro, you was gonna be a YouTube star. <laughs> I, was still, I was still no, I was still forward on like. I know I'm just playing with you. Yeah, <laughs> this, this guy right here, I'm sipping for her anyway. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> the crazy part about it is I felt like she almost She was sending me Such a strong message That she actually dated She ended up dating One of my good friends Whoa So then I'm like I get it Like I get it We're not cool anymore I get it I can't really fuck with you So then I was almost in like A situation where I shouldn't even be saying this Go ahead and say it man I'm gonna go ahead and say no it No filter So then she was, she was dating a good friend of mine mm. And then this is all during our senior year. Again, I wasn't really talking to her that much. And so um we were we were t- it was one day we were in um I don't think we were in study hall. This is like like um like we stayed after school to catch up on some of our classes word, that, word. that we failed. So we we in this little um <laughs> place where we just catching up on classes and then me and my friend, we leave to go to um, McDonald's to get something to eat. We're going to come right back. Mm. And she was also in, in, in there with us as well. All of us failed, so it didn't really matter. So Jesus. So she was sitting there. She's doing her. She's she catching up. I've already caught up, and he's already caught up too. So we just kind of break out for, for that moment and then leave. So then we in, the, we in the whip, and it's me and my good friend. And he's like, yo, man, she tripping, bro. She tripping. So like he's then, telling you about their problems? Yeah. So wait, wait. So so then I was like, I was like, word. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you had a pocket, love. I was, I was like, I was, I was like, yo, really, y'all? That's she's, crazy. She's tripping. <laughs> oh man. Hey yo, tell me all about it. <laughs> Oh, you're evil, I yo. Was like, I was like, yo, that's cr- <laughs> bro, she is tripping, bro. That's crazy. You just gonna let her do that, man? You're not gonna. So you know, it's so crazy. You instigated in the in the moment when I was like, yeah, bro, what, what happened? What's what's going on? What you mean she tripping? He was like, this is why I, f- I fucks with him too, cause he he a real one, he a real nigga. Mm. He was like, he was like, nah, 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 I ain't gonna say nothing. And at that, mm. but at that moment, I was like. Then I even hit me. I was like, I'm fucking wildin' for even trying to do some shit like that. So you were, I'm not even going to, I'm going to let it just be. Mm -hmm. Cause I should have been like, "Eh, no, don't even tell me none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got respect for both of y'all, yada, yada, yada. So then we go to fucking prom. And while we're at prom, they were dancing. I knew they weren't on like the greatest of terms. Yeah. She asked me to dance at prom. You said no? Yes. Cause I was like, there's, I can't, I can't do that. I cannot do that. And he and that and he was like, because at that point he was really, really me and him was really, really cool. We were really close. I was like, nah, I can't. I can't. But do if that. she wanted to dance with you then, then she probably doesn't like dislike or hate you no more. She I don't I don't think she hates me as much, but it still it just eats me up because I was like, cause I feel like I missed Yeah, that is well. Yeah, it's I, I just feel like I missed too much. It was like, yo, like that's just fucked up. Cause we were real, real cool and like it went from being real, real cool to not even really talking. And then she only started kind of sort of talking up, talking to me towards like the end of the senior year. But by that time it was kind of already dead. Like it was kind of <laughs> done. Then I found out. Then I found out she had a um, so now she got a she got a a kid though. I knew that's what you were gonna say when yeah. you said she, I found out. I was like, oh okay, I know where this is going. Yeah. She has a kid. Now. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I, I don't. I might still. You might. 
You might be a stepdad soon. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> but um, <laughs> man, that shit tough though. Yeah, it's very that tough. Shit, that shit hit, eat me up to this day, bro. Let it go, man. Let to it go. This day. To this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> bro, uh, to this day, that shit eat me up. Mm. To this fucking day, it's only a few. Few, it's only like a few women where I feel like I wish I, I had time back. Mm. That's one of them for sure. I don't feel like that with anybody, but I also probably don't have as much experience as you because I didn't. I spent my time in my fucking room most of my life. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, you know I mean, but I don't. I I hope I never feel like that. That'd be because I don't. I just really just want to tell her, yo, I'm I fucked up. Like I'm. You say I'm sorry that then. Yeah, but like I haven't talked to her in so long where I just don't want to be. That like, would be weird. Like, yeah. hey, remember like five, six <laughs> years ago? <laughs> that I time remember. where I, I damn near just groped you in the middle of the class? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. My- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can't do that. Just yeah. hit her about the blue. Like, hey, yo, look good. But you didn't have to do inside thigh, though, bro. You could have did outside thigh. No, nah, it wasn't really all that much inside. Outside is just- way less. That's normal. Like, if, if I hit you on the outside thigh, you wouldn't be like, oh, he's into me. No, no, no. It wasn't hit. Oh, did you like hold it? I. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. In a public area? <laughs> Bro, are you a psychopath? <laughs> what were you doing? Doing that in a public area? Yo. Like on some jokes, you'd be like, ah, you're so funny. Boom. You know what I mean? I'm just, that's like, but then if she like flinches or moves away, then it's like, all right, bet. But I was so young where it was just like. You didn't know none of that. I was like, no, no, no. Like the play is to. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, this is the play. I see so many other people do this. This is the play. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. That's tough, bro. That, that shit be tough. eating me up, bro. But outside of her and Miss Pretty Love Pink, I'm sipping from Miss Pretty Love Pink. Why do you, why do, you do that? Why do you do that? Because has she hit you up, actually? No, no. That's I wild, bro. Did I say anything? Oh, yeah, I said it in the video. Oh, my video, yeah. Hey, yo. Miss Pretty Love Pink, you know what I'm saying? I simp. And he. Huh? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Hey, it's pretty love thing. I sit on the low low. He does too. He just stop. He just I I agent. I swear. Why are you so ready? He's so ready I to say I swear. So, I think you find I blow your whole coverage. You <laughs> I blow your whole coverage. You, it's like your passion to just like. You, Say it, say it, say it, I, say it, I say it. dare you. See, see what I do, say it, say it. That's like your favorite thing. Like if I went downstairs and I was like, yeah, I'm about to tweet about this low, you walk, say it, bro. Come on, say it. I want to say, say it. Because I don't think, because y'all don't really want to do it. Because y'all don't really want to do it. But I genuinely don't think don't you have mind, nothing to cause, say. Because I don't me. mind being a bad guy. So I, yeah, I don't, y'all really not going to do it. I, I don't, I wouldn't expose your, the same way. You see what we just did? With all yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't hear from me. Exactly. I like, I like learning information. So I don't give out information when it comes to private things. So that way people mad comfortable, yo, agent, this happened. I'm a lockbox. You won't hear nothing from me, but boom. Oh man. We almost at two hours. That is I'm this might be a two hour special, something like that. We could just keep we could just stop it and then just keep going. We could, but that'd be wild if we did that. Also, I'm, I keep squinting, just making sure the battery hasn't died because I've never seen it go this far. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's, it, hasn't died, no. it might die like in five, ten minutes. I don't know because I've never seen a GH5 battery go two hours in my life. No, because it's, it's not. It's still on the single bar. It's, well, not, it's not flashing yet. I know, but when it starts flashing, it'll have like a few minutes. Oh. Anyway, um, wow. I've really enjoyed this pod. I don't know how consumable a two-hour podcast <laughs> is. <laughs> we're about to find out. <laughs> about to find out. Yeah, we're about to find out. Um. I want to talk about A&P, but we might have to do that in another pod, man. We can literally just stop this and just keep going. Yeah, but I don't want to drop some like... Oh, you mean like on another pod? Yeah. Oh, bless. Hey, um... <laughs> <laughs> hey, we about to catch you guys in the next podcast, of course. Hey, first of all, if you made it to this point, that's love. I really appreciate it. Uh, the support of the podcast has I been... I rate you bear. No, no, don't add bear, but I rate you. I bear rate you? No. Bear is like... You generally say it before. You say that's bear ratings right there. Bear, that's, bear. That's bear rating. That's that's bear, bear ratings. ratings. It's bear ratings big, coming your way. Big bear ratings, mm, right? Just like that. Okay. Big bear ratings. Papa bear ratings. Facts. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, we might as well record another one. I wanted to go to the gym, but I'm okay. not gonna lie to you. Um, the only way I catch this shit is if I go to the gym. I'm telling you right now, because I don't do nothing but that. All that sweat, somebody just sneezing on a bar, and they just leave it there. Yeah. And then you just come back, and you, yeah, it's all on your head. That's, that's the only way, but I don't think I'm going to go today. Yeah, somebody brought up the fact that sometimes my southern accent comes out, and mm-hmm. I just said it there. 
As I said, you come back. I, said, I, didn't, I, I ain't even hear that. Bro. Yeah, somebody said that. You just wanted people to notice that because I've no, never, no, no, no. I've never noticed that about you ever. No, somebody said it, but I didn't. I don't really notice that until somebody pointed it out, and I just caught it myself. Like even the I way you said back. it right there, you didn't say it like that when you originally. I did <laughs> when you when you say it back. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> yo, um, bear if, ratings like, coming your way. Yeah, big bear ratings. Bear ratings. Also, um, if I'm wearing the same thing in the next podcast, yo, shut the hell up. Low, change your. I'm gonna change my fit. Are you changing your fit? Stop. I can't. I can't. First of all, representing the iPod merch here today. <laughs> he shot that. You know what's wild? You know the reason why I wore this before we end the pod? is because this was tight as shit on me like fucking three months ago. So the fact that this kind of fits right now, like, hold on. Let me do like a little show like before and after. Give him a side view. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. See what I'm saying? Just like Agent, Agent is rocking the he shot that merch from iPod King Carter. So um, I, I kind of used it to give iPod a zero out of 10 on a meme video I recorded today. Um, so I was like, was that, was that who you called me for? No, no, I called you for Toasted's meme. That and meme I was going to give it like trash. a six, but then you gave it a two, and I was like, we're going with it too. <laughs> that meme was trash. Um, so, yeah, I was just really surprised. I mean, everything that's 2XL is fitting now. 3XL was tight on me at my biggest, which is like scary. Mm. Um, but now all my twos are starting to fit. You know what I mean? You know, I have jeans at every weight class. You know, I'm starting to go down. You know what I'm talking about? So it feels good. Um, but yeah, now oh. I can wear the shit that I. The batteries. Ooh, like okay. That. All right. So Apple Podcast, drop a five star. YouTube, Naughty Gang, 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 Gang. Apple, Twi Spotify, Twitch, Stitcher, Google and, Play, um, yeah. Oxcord, and uh, is it? Uh, man, I think it's something we're missing. Is something missing? No, no, we're not missing that, man. Think about it just for a second. No, we're not missing that, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, say it because it's a bit low. Oh man, You're killing me. I don't know. Podcast, don't we're know. out. Thank you guys <laughs> so much, and we're gonna see you guys on the next one. I actually don't know I, what our outro is, so we're going to fade it right there just like that.